Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? I think I got his PO. Well, anyways, I don't have his PO. Howdy, how, everybody? Are you around here, feller? There you are. Jacob. Going on. Oh, I know. Looking for work, trying to make some money. How about you? You just ride back in? Yeah, dude. I'm also looking for a little extra money. No cowboy hat, Swanson. <laughs> yeah, now I'm looking for some extra cash. I'm supposed to meet my cousin here, but uh, I'm waiting to see if he's coming through town or not. <laughs> Who's that cousin? Is that uh, uh, my cousin? Talked about yeah, my cousin Buck. Better be careful when my horse kicks you in the jaw. That'd be the first time fucking get kicked in the jaw. I'll tell you, man, that shit that that'll throw your spine out of alignment. Or put her back in. Yeah, I can't see if you're starting from the bad side. Yeah, so what'd you hear about work? You find anything decent around there? Uh, yeah, I, I heard about a ranch just uh, just outside this town that we could maybe work at. Uh, the Eason's, I think, is the name of the family owns that one. All oh, right, on I reckon. Yeah, man, as long as it pays, all right. Yeah, they uh, they they invited me to meet up with them here in the next bit if I was interested in actually trying to get to get going. Don't know if you have more priorities to meet Buck or if you wanted to maybe tag along for that. Oh no, failure. I mean, I'm down. I'm gonna just send him. I'm gonna link up with him, my PO, and we'll be out in the boat. All right, well, I'm gonna go hang out uh, and see if I can see them over in that area. Uh, he'll be with Isaiah. And uh, see if we can figure out how that ranch stuff works, you know. Yeah, count me in. Hang on, guys. I'm, I'm on the. On the fence, I want to just make myself a little smaller, just so I'm. You guys can just kind of enjoy the content a little more. You're not on the horse for me, in my eyes. I don't know why. Yeah, for whatever reason. You hear me in the other world. Yeah, I'm seeing if I had a spider on my foot. About to flex that extra muscle. I have to hit. Try reloading your character, hitting F6, reload character, see if that does anything. I just did it earlier, so it doesn't do anything bad. It just, like. Yeah, I don't know. Could be me though. That's weird, bud. All right, well, I guess if it's not for you and it is for me, I just won't look at you. Actually. Hang on, that guy's got a spider on his foot, too. In front of me. I wonder if it's me. He never me. I'll go over here and relog real quick. Please, please, please don't let there be a queue. That would be unfortunate for me 
in you. What's up, Marsh? How you doing, brother? You come back over this way. I just want to see if it's any different. Oh, you relocked. Well, shit, I'm going to wait then. I'm going to wait until you come in before I relock. Yeah, dude. I just reloaded my character to, again just to make sure it was some of my uh, Cause some people are fine. Yeah, so we're out here doing some yeehaw. It's doing me. Yes, sir. You yes, have sir. two dollars on you. I need it for a twin ticket. You need two dollars. I really need two dollars there, Becco. Oh man, let me check. Oh, I need. Look, God bless you. God bless you, sir. My name is PP, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ned Parker. Nice to meet you, good sir. What's your name again, Sweet Cheeks? What is my name again? My name is uh, John Buttons. All right, I'm gonna call you T-shirt Buttons, okay? Good to meet you, sir. Okay. Nice to meet you. God bless you. All right. We get two dollars, I think. Fella. I just gave two dollars to somebody, but I'm a good steed. Said I needed it for a train ticket. Yeah, I'm just a good dude. He's playing the same game on PS4. Right on, brother. Yeah, we're doing a little RP action, trying it out. Bro, the little people are weird. I don't know what that's about. Are they children? Or are they just little people? I, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, was it that much of a... Why don't ducks wipe their butt off when they poo? I don't know why, dude. Um, Maybe, but... I don't have a butt quack. <laughs> hey, you're dumb. I like it. What's up, Clutch? Once we get together, guys, on especially on uh, MN's stream, I'll we'll probably just mute ourselves in Discord so I'm not like over here fucking jabbering. Hey, you? You're on a horse. I'm on a horse. We're both on horses. All right, let's go. Let's be cowboys. That Swanton. Big glue. What kind of glue do Eskimos use? Big glue. What are you saying? He, he, he the ranch out here. You ever drive one of them wagons? Jacob. Yeah, what's up? You ever drive one of them wagons? No, sir. Never had enough money to buy one. Have you? No. Seems like state of the art. I should have done it while I was on it. <laughs> Don't ever bring oil wagons and leave them in Valentine. Go through. Don't leave in the middle. Uh, just, of me, uh, just verify where you said. I'll just uh, pull this piece of paper out of my pocket. Uh, yeah, or just far away. I wonder if you were sitting on it and it was on turbo spin, if it would blow you off and you'd live. <laughs> Probably not. You you would you would live the explosion if you were sitting on it. No. I'm waiting all day. Jacob's on our right, feller. Uh, feller. Get moving out of there, man. Yeah, 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 you're all right, Nora. You're all right, girl. Hey, how do you pet your horse? You know how to do that? You got me, man. I got no idea. Uh, 
I'm gonna probably gonna drag right up here by the hanging hanging board and get it tonight. I I I know where to meet this guy and where he's gonna be here this evening, so I'm gonna I'll, I'll lead us there, all right? All right, feller. I just gotta make sure I get in the habit of when I'm gonna get into combat, not using, not using my uh, my controller, or yeah, use my keyboard because I like having 360 view. I like to have a look around in my head. I gotta figure that out in keyboard and mouse. There's gotta be a button you hit to build a free look. Because I like I like riding the horse with controller, but this is the problem. This server setup, so you can't aim controller. Careful going down here. Yeah, it's pretty steep. Hopefully, I'm not head, heading us out here to die. I right? hope not either, man. It's getting very dark out here. I ain't really worried about the people at this point. It's the animals. You ever run into one of them grizzly bears? Uh, grizzly, no, coyote, yeah. Um, coyotes, they're mean. Rawr. And there's normally more than one. Alright, this is roughly where he told us to be. Yeah, something tells me we're getting murdered. What did he tell you is mean here? And also, does he know I'm coming? Jacob, I'm gonna need to use your words, buddy. I'm trying to talk. I'm worried about you. Oh no, what? What I'm trying to figure out is, uh, so you know I'm coming with you. Where can I? You want me to maybe go uh, hang away a little bit, and then if he comes around, I can go around the corner and fish. And if something goes wrong, I ain't far. Alright, you want to a little farther south? Down the trail yonder? Alright, let's go. Your trail come a little farther south this way. It's the only one I can think goes farther south. Other than that, you got the whole mountainside you'd be trying to battle around. Tell you what, guys, if someone can look up how to free look on keyboard and mouse. Uh. And that'll allow me to not use this controller.
We I lost them, boys. That's that. We're gonna die. There's a camp up here. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Jacob. Jacob. Yep. Hello? Hello. Who is this? It's going. You coming in, Rusty? Oh, hell yeah. I lost uh, Jacob. I don't know where he is. That Jacob? Call him Jacobs. Jacobs. That's definitely very relevant in the year 1901. Jacob, I'm gonna have to put a bell on you, little feller. Yeah, my bad. I think we gotta we gotta go That's inland a bit here. It's a bit, bit treacherous. A lot of a lot of things around here, campfires and whatnot. Though. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, I heard him. Heard from Rusty. He wanted to hang out with us. He's in our other head. Did you uh? You send him a pigeon? I didn't send him. I don't know where we are. Not yet. Hey, what's your number? I see a bunch of lights just to the side of us there. Let's head over there. That could be a ranch. There looks like a little something on the other side of the bridge up here. Yeah, how does mail work? You gotta hit F6, hit mail. Once you get your PO number, and then you'll be able to send mail on a period. You gotta do it outside. A carrier pigeon will come and take it to the person. So that's how that works. We're just behind Valentine. Uh, I think. Yeah, we're up by Valentine, I believe. We're looking for a place to work. I think Mitchell's just bringing me to die. That's what I think's happening. But Follow the leader, I guess. Uh, What's that? The one night I started, he just fucking went from fucking... I think he was in, like, Valentine all the way to fucking Hansburg. He was like, come to me. And I was all the way down to fucking Tumbleweed. If he does that button, you and I will just have to kill him. I punched him. Good for you. First time I saw him, I punched him right in the face. Hey, bud, look, looking at the map here, we're under the like the E, not the V. I don't know, maybe maybe this guy is pulling my leg. Well, I'm not ever too sure, man. I just ain't trying to get murdered. So have you been, like, antagonized at all? Me neither, man. No, not yet. If someone attacks me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clap cheeks, but I'm I'm fucking I'm suited up. I can send him another a pigeon here and see what happens. Be careful, you piss him off, he might come down here and bring the law, bring you in for harassment, calling him cute and stuff. If you don't object, don't say anything. I'm talking about. Yeah, you, did you already go to the, uh, yeah, you already bought that last night. So you hit F6 and hit that, you open up a, like a little menu. And from there you can check for new mail and you can see doors. But there's an address book where you add people in. And you can just send messages. Like I said, you gotta do it outside though. I tell you. I tell you, weather's really starting to take a turn. Yes, sir, he is. <laughs> Where are you at? Are you in Rust? Are you in uh, Valentine or no? Who, me? Yeah. I fucking forgot to set up my fucking Rockstar game launcher. This kid, huh? Fuck, I mean, I have it, I just forget I had to turn that on, and then, like, ever since my PC went to Geek Squad, I always gotta fucking log back into my Steam, because then it doesn't recognize my Steam. Hmm. Fucking fucks. Damn internet. Alright, I just sent this carrier pigeon off. We'll see what happens here. Alright. I'm trying to say my computers can't be like me, you know? I mean, I'm not the smartest, but I'm not the dumbest. But I am dumb, and I'm a little smart. Computers I'm gonna try to get a hold, but smart. I'm gonna send him a message. Alright, we, we do that. Because uh, if we can get some more money with three of us, we'll make some cash in that.
Also, was weed a thing back in 1901? Yeah, you can smoke joints in here. I did by accident yesterday. I did see you can buy raw papers. I was like, ugh. I like that. A go to brand right there. Um. Myself and my two. What I refer to you guys as? I don't want to say like uh, as my two. I, I call you guys friends, but maybe you guys will kill me. I don't know. I mean, if we want, bro, we can make characters and go fucking live up in the crazy woods in Annisburg. <laughs> There's a cave up there, and we could kidnap people and eat them. What do you think? Fucking kidnap people up in the thing. That'd be the whole RP. What do you guys do? We just kill people. All right, now you're rid of that carrier pigeon yet? Man, he's on his way. Here he goes. He's a good kitty. We're gonna play a little game. We in this car, push your arms and your legs behind and make your cross. <laughs> oh shit. You, me, just can see right, you, you wanna have head made back for Valentine, maybe? Turn this little fella down just a little bit. I tell you, that feller there on uh, that rusty feller, he's like I can hear him in my head. It's crazy. Hey, uh, I just got a carrier pigeon fly to me. Give me a sec. Yeah, I can hear you. Mitchell can't. He's deafened. He don't want to hear you, bud. Yeah, what's up, fella? Hey, you, uh, you, you got your map out there that we can look at? I'd take a look at her, yeah. Alright, head south down the road below the V, and the ranch will be on your right side. You'll most likely find our market tubes inside the road. See that on the map, maybe? Man, I reckon I don't, but I think I know a way to go. No, I reckon I don't see it on the map, but oh, I did get a mail. Hang on. All right, well, I, I think I know where we're going now. There's a little road that we can little path to take. Hang on a second, guys. Hey, failure. Uh, yeah, I got a whole uh, buck. I might be meeting him around here in Valentine. Uh, I gotta try to meet him in person. All right. If you want to head out that way, I mean that's your call. I don't or I don't want to leave short either, but he, j I think he's in town. All right. Well, well, what I'll do maybe is, uh, why don't you pick a, a landmark for me to meet you at? I'll run down to these guys, see what the work looks like, and, and maybe we meet back up. Yeah, because if he's got work tonight, I mean we could make some cash on the spot, and then we got a steady job that's honest work. Agreed, and and, and definitely talk about me as well, and I'll talk about you for the ranch. Oh, absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll be back up if, uh, if something happens. Just uh, go find a pigeon and you can throw it at me. All right, reckon. I'll see you soon.
All right, guys, we're waiting to meet up with somebody, I guess. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm just waiting here. Now you're doing the cowboy work. There we go, now it's in. Yeah, I'm out on Valentine waiting to meet up with uh, with Buck. And Jacob's heading down to, uh, Jacob's heading down to check on the farm work. Once we get here, I'm going to mute myself in Discord. Let's talk to you, gentlemen. I'm out west. If you want to come out west, you're going to walk out by the by the horse barn. Straight out west. I'm out on the trail side. Looking good, like usual. What's that? Wearing a brown long uh, jacket, white hat. White and brown hat. Ooh, whoa, whoa, know where you are at. Don't let them piggies fucking come and get you. Yeah, I'm on a horse. Is that you? Rusty. Rusty, how are you? Can you hear me, Coney? You got a dollar? I got a dollar. Do you need a dollar? Oh, hang on. I got a letter. I checked the mail. I'm in town. It's dark as hell, man. I forgot what I need now. Baylor, I got to head into town. You want to come with me? Hey. You can I what you want to do, buddy? What's that, Feller? Yeah, it's right. Come here, baby. <clears throat> Come to Uncle. Come to Uncle. Tony's going to be one of my acquaintances, one of my boys. Rusty, how's your evening going? Some really bad beans from the general store the other day, and I've had free and some stuff now, south. Yeah, I reckon, man. We, gave we, me we some were, bad we you whatever that is, and I made oh. it call that shit. Yeah, we already shot him. Quiet. Don't shoot him again. Alright. I'm gonna kill you. This <laughs> guy made my throat prickly. <laughs> I'm looking for Buck, if you see Buck anywhere. I'm aware of it. I think a deer. I haven't seen a picture of him in years. Are you talking about a deer? Oh, man, I had a cousin, Buck. Back when I was just a boy. Oh, shit. I heard he was out this way, and I figured... Chances run into him might be there. You heard from Jacob recently? Who's Jay? You said you heard from Jacob recently? I ain't heard from JJJ. Man, I tell you, I gotta figure out where this fella is. Here's some 
goddamn feral people out here. Yeah, you tell me. I'm gonna hit you up and go walk around and see if I find him. Get right over here. Yeah. Wolfie. Wolfie's crazy. I gave him some meat. And then he left me alone. Doing all right. All right, y'all take care now. Come on in here. We're gonna do some Brian. No. Can you delete your horse? I'm not really sure. Howdy. How you doing? My name's uh, name's John. What can I do for you, my sons? Well, I was uh, looking looking for uh, for a cousin of mine I haven't seen in a while. His name's Buck. You might be talking to a Buck. Who's asking? John Buttons. Might be you. That's a nice fish. That's me. My queen's here, Rusty. Alrighty. Now, what are y'all, uh, what are y'all looking for me for? Well, man, I was looking for some work, and we're down to town. We're one of my other friends. We were around with Jacob. He's now checking some ranch work, to see what's going on, because you know it's getting that time of year. We got to get packed up, or we got to get moving. Already, so you're looking for work. We are looking for work. Well, I don't know who your friend here is, but uh, you can't be. You know, I, I got jobs, but you can't really be running train security looking like that. Well, I hear you. To your attire, sir, but I don't think Rusty mind cleaning up a little bit. Rusty, yeah. you, you ever take a bath before? I can take a bath in probably seven, four days. I think it's about time you take one, get cleaned up if you want to work. Me pay for the bath the night. Take care yeah, of you. Yeah, shit. I like to smell. But yeah, I can take a bath. Maybe uh, trim up that that hair and. Make, make it real presentable. Alright. I can also fetch for Jacob. He's out, like I said, he's out uh, just west of Valentine. Uh, southwest, I believe. He was looking at some, I believe the name of the farm was Emerald Ranch. Have you heard of them before? Yeah, I, I frequent there a bit. Yeah, I believe they were looking for some farmhand. And we're looking for something, you know, when, when time's down, we make some cash, and then we got some steady work when, you, you know... Trying just trying to lay low. What's that, fella? We'll lay low from what? Well, it seems to be every town I go into. Someone wants to fight or shoot or kill me. I tell you, I... Well, you pick out them and you send them to me and they'll get sorted. 
Yeah, just coming through town here. Looks like they had something going down at Saloon. We just, I try to come in, get what I gotta get, and I get back out. Well, I ain't got nothing tonight, but give you a couple, uh, couple bucks to get you some nice clothes there. Freshly tailored up. So, yeah, name, my name's Dusty. about to probably get on out of here but um, if you get yourself a suit and then you meet me in St. Denis tomorrow I have something lined up for you alright that might be something we can do I'll, uh, I'll link up with Jacob on it too and I know uh, let's, go, uh, let's go down to the bank alright yeah Jacob good fair I'll have to send him a letter Jacob you around here I was seeing later, but I really don't know how to write. You don't know how to yell yet? Yeah, I know how to yell. Came inside the church very quiet. Oh, I apologize. I'm just trying to be respectful. I gotta be loud with people. Well, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Why is this guy nine foot tall? He's a big man right here. Big old son of a bitch right there. Oh, wait, that ain't him. Never mind. Sorry about that. What's that? Yes. Hey, Watch. Hey, Marshall's gone. Damn, I didn't know they made a horse big enough for your fat ass. Bro, what is that on your fucking horse's head, bro? Oh, no. dear. You alright? Yep. Ow! Oh, shit, that horse's leg is quite stuck. What happened to Jacob? Holy shit, he's flying. What the fuck is. Is that a saber tooth tiger? What the fuck? Yeah, no, I Wait, saw that with Jacob, man. He's gonna keep turning the head. How about that motherfucker bulletproof? You got him, man. I can reach out, Jacob. You can meet him at least before, you know, he's gonna work for you. Let me see my set my letter, see where he's at. Alrighty, so each year. Once you get done writing that letter, I'll I'll continue speaking. All right, feller. I'm all yours. So, to each of you, I'm going to hand you, you know, a little bit something to get the clothes, get some food, maybe book up in a hotel for the night. Ain't going to go far, but, you know, if you ration it out a bit, you'll be able to get there you know, tomorrow or a couple of days from now, depending on how you spend it. But I'm going to give you each. Oh my, thank you so much for your generosity. It's not that much. It, the economy oh, really can. changed a bit. So, yeah. I can't grab all of these. It gets you some food. It gets you, you know, some ammo and stuff. I do appreciate it. Yeah, we do a little work with construction. We work a little bit in the mines, but... I'm there, yeah. If you pick up any, uh... Any coal and load it on your horses. I'll pay you for each bit of that too. All right, understood. Yeah, I'll make sure I let. Uh, I know I've been. Jacob's been someone I kind of been hanging with just because you know how people are around and met up with the old boy here and try to keep him safe. So I'll keep it in mind we're out working again in extra piece. So be sure to break. Take your head off real quick. All right. Man, how about you, uh, over there in the saloon, 
on the uh, tucked in the right hand side there's a barber there I'll get you cleaned up nice and then in the uh, Saints Hotel here on the bottom floor there's a little bathtub you can scrub a dub dub in or if you prefer a norm, you know more natural method you can go to the river she I might do that Hurry. I may go to get yourself cleaned up and then go out and do some work. Now, what I'm looking for is uh, train security. So, but you want to give us a little synapses, which, you know, what your expectation is. That way I know the guys are all know what's going on. Yeah, so train security, basically you're just going to, I'm going to do my thing, run my train, you know, pick up passengers, run cargo, all that and such. Y'all are going to stand on the train with guns out. And you're just you're gonna guard it you know anyone jumps aboard without asking for a ticket you know they you give them a couple warnings you don't get the hell off the train if they don't listen to you give them a little bit of time and then you just you fucking shoot them or you can go a little if they're being nice about it or maybe they're a woman you ask them to kindly please step off the train because there, there's a limit you know if they climb on the train and i don't see them and they catch a ride for like two miles there's it's kind of just it's called uh, train hopping. Yeah, no, I understand. We'll definitely, I mean, if it's someone who doesn't understand, get a little aggressive, we'll be sure to take care of it before it gets out of hand. But we wear nice suits, you know. Well, I wear something nice, and I expect my security to be, you know, very formal. Yeah, no, for sure. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to communicate that, and we'll get ourselves all squared away. I'll say, Jacob, Jacob, he wears nice outfits right sometimes. He does, Jacob's not. He, he wears like wool vest and stuff. I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from him. I'm not quite sure. Uh, You know that way them pigeons are. Sometimes I like to get a off the beaten path. I'll take a little walk around the corner and see if maybe he made his way into Valentine or not. Jacob. What's up, feller? Yeah, I gotta get air cut. Well, I mean, it's up to you, man. If you're looking for that kind of work, I just figured I'm it right with that. be good pay and maybe be something we can, uh, we can get ourselves Gee, a little ahead on. Man, I don't... I don't know a whole lot about him. I know. Two hundred dollars. I know he runs his train conductor, so he runs back and forth, up around the whole state. You know? and, I need. Uh, I need to get this money to the bank. I'm going to the bank. All right, come with you. What you think a haircut is? Oh, can't okay, be more about ten, fifteen dollar. You know, when I was up there in Edinburgh, I had myself a peach tea. Oh, how was it? I tell you some type of tea. I'm telling you, I can't tell if it was the cold dish and tea to get it real fucking delicious. Yeah, I tell you, I definitely My give it a shot. The first motherfucker, dude. You gonna shoot me for the first time in your life? You ain't gonna. You ain't got the balls. <laughs> Jesse, if it wasn't you, I'd fucking kill you. I swear to God. Where in the hell? If you were anybody else, I would fucking kill you where you fucking stand. I swear by it. Well, man, I've got the bounty right. Holy shit! Fucking love it. You want Nothing, don't worry. No, 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 leave it. Why is there a library in the fucking thing? Is that where the library is? Yeah, there's a library what? next to the desk. What the fuck can you read out of the library? Maybe, uh, you, wait, you didn't know there's books in County? I got a ass. Oh my god, where the fuck is under a goddamn rock? Big people around bro, here, man. Bro, this shit's been here for like two or three. Uh, well, before I became a lumberjack in January. So, I think sometime in December, maybe in the next week.
Yo, um, so w should we head to you or no? Okay, he just handed us each 200 bucks, so I didn't know if you wanted 200 dollars. Cause I could meet him. Okay. Hey, Buck. Good seeing you, too. Yeah, I, love you, yeah I think he's uh, he working down at the farm <laughs> and put him on the spot. So, uh, I don't know if he's coming out this way. He doesn't want to have a bad impression with him. Is that like a... Just want to go to Blackwater. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you oh, else. Oh, down here. You. That made no sense, bro. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, was it? Yeah, now I hear you. What's that? You want us to go see him? Hey, man, you're, you'd like to go out that way for sure. We can, uh, he's down just south of Valentine. We can head out that way. Once I get a hold of Rusta here, he gets out of the barbershop. Uh, right? I think so. Let me, uh, I'd, man, I'm gonna double check. Let me check my, let me rack my brain. I you just get talking about it. Alpha changed here, and then we'll, uh... All right. Just at, so we'll go right there. Got it. Right here. Got it. Right here. 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 Going to the barber shop, which that's law office. Go for the barber. Where the hell did you go, Rusty? These are all running. I'm just casually putting through town looking for Rusty. Try doing one of them, uh, something for the camp, like a supply run or something. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're just looking for Rusty. Oh, fuck me, it crashed. Hang on a second, babies. We coming back. Oh man. <clears throat> Two hundred and nineteen people in this thing. That's not so Yeehaw.
I don't know how Buck's like nine and a half foot tall, but big dude. Well, yo, what's up, Hossy Hoffermans? How you doing? Name's John. John Buttons. Gonna wait for everybody to come back in here. here. Nope, you're good. Sorry, brother. I uh, I crashed, so I was waiting for him to load up. Where you at, player? We're waiting to meet up with him. We're gonna go up to Emerald Ranch and go meet up with uh with uh Jacob. But what's his name gonna come with us? Um, Buck. Pretty sad. Uh, man, I don't think so. Alright, it should be under the hotel, I think, where he said, which is down here. Paints Hotel's down here on the left. What all these guys are doing, I'm just trying not to get killed here. What now? What now? You just say, huh? I don't know where the fuck Buck is, but I'm assuming he come back down here where I was. Is it? Oh, I thought it was you, Coney. Just absolutely obliterating these guys. Hey, fuck, Coney's fucking killing these guys straight up. You got a dollar or no? Yeah. I don't know where the hell Buck went to. Oh, I think that means you get like the scrubby dub dub. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is she? Damn. Alright, guys. Let, uh, Coney's gonna meet real quick. <coughs> yeah. Good teaching or bad teaching? I'm waiting to head over there. Buck wants to go over with us. I guess he frequents Emerald Branch a lot. Easton Ranch. Yeah, he's got work for us tomorrow in St. Denis, but we need a suit. And he, got a, he goes, he wants to security dress nice. He goes, you get on it, you ride around with the gun out. Someone hops on the train, he's supposed to be there, you ask him nice to leave. They give you hard enough time, you shoot him. Okay. Yes, he did tell him that. Alright, we're in Valentine now, so... Or how'd your ways? Um. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for Coney's taking a bath with a prostitute, and then he'll be out. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, but she's completely naked. Uh. Oh, 
Where in the fuck is this guy? Is this him? Looks, yeah, dude, for whatever reason, he's got like a. Where the hell's the old guy? What's that, fella? Where's the old guy? Old guy, you looking for? Buck? Yeah. Man, I don't know, I'm looking for him too. There he is, he's in the stable. Uh, once you're all ready, come meet me at the train station. Alright, fella, are we working tonight? Uh, no, 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 I wanted to meet your friend there. I got you. He's working down the farm, and he gotta wait until he gets. He's got one last task before he can get out of there. He's just down here at Easton Ranch. You ever heard of him? Easton Ranch. Easton Ranch. Where is that on the map? Uh, I reckon it's just uh, just down here, just south of Valentine. Uh, I would say maybe southwest of Valentine, not far off that beaten path. Yeah, I think he said. Uh, I know he was going to meet her and try to figure out what they're working and then he was going to be heading back this way. Yeah, they want us to meet him at the train station, but whenever you're clear. Hey, who are you going for, me or him? <laughs> for cattle. Okay. Do you what want? was that sound I heard? I don't know. Someone went. Ah! That, was, that was. Yeah, it was definitely Abraham. Yeah, it was Abraham. Oh. I don't know if we're following this guy or not. He said to go to the train station, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to go on our way. To, we're gonna have to head out to Saint Denis tonight if we're gonna do this tomorrow. Because Saint Denis is a little cruise. We could go out to Saint Denis. We could get a hotel room. We could get, you know, some some clothes and stay out there. I got nine dollars and five cents. Yeah. Gotta hit page up. You'll see like the. Right next to like three buttons from the right next to your number lot. We're heading. He should be right around here. Hang on. We should be turning around. I think we missed it. Should be like right here. Should be that ranch. No, I think he's full of shit. I thought I looked on the map. He, he's just down below. Oh, he's down here in Valentine. I got us, kid. Turn around, Dicky Ricky. I haven't seen any buffalo yet. Is this her? Is her ranch like a little off the road, or is that like a camp? That's a camp, is that? We're looking in this area, Coney, for her ranch. Is it over the bridge or no? no I don't know. He, he's deafened. Down below us. I don't know where you are. There you are. I think it's down in this bunker, dude. What's in there? Don't go in there. What's it, Coney? What's in there? Coney, what's in there? We gotta find this Easton Ranch. I think it might be down here, Coney. There's like a little. Yeah, where's this? 
What's up, Ricker? I'm gonna go over the bridge. Go over the bridge. Continue uh, south. Yep, right there. There's another person behind us, so be careful. It's it's here somewhere, bud. This might be it. There's a ranch right here. You got a ranch, Charlie? I don't know. Hope so. How do you get saddle? How much was you guys saddle? Fifty bucks. How much was like a suit thing? I have no idea. Yeah, I got a little cash too, so if you're a little short, I'd rather you get on there and get some work of that doing on, you know what I mean? You gotta go up to the thing and it'll prompt you. You gotta hold Y on the on the controller. Howdy, sir. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Hey, we're looking for a uh, ranch, uh, Easton Ranch. Yeah, that's right behind you there, buddy. Oh, it's not here. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oh, it is here. Yeah. I was. Yeah, I got my uh, I got a friend of mine, Jacob, coming out here. Well, I talked to the owners and told them I was going to be heading out this way, so. Is your buddy behind you looking for a job, too? I do believe, yeah, we're uh, looking for some farm help. What's he doing? What's he looking at? I got no idea. Dark. Okay. Let's go, Hold guys. I hope I don't die. <laughs> I really, this is sketchy as fuck. Fucking MN game has got to be muted here in Discord. Look, the super RP or he is, that son of a bitch. These guys got mask on. Looks like the AK-47 is 1901. I'm scared shitless. So, what's your name, buddy? My name's Joan. What's your name, buddy? Hey, My Roger. name's Rusty. You what? My name's Rusty. Rusty. Excuse ah. us, lady drivers. Okay, Excuse boss, you. he's on his way, I think, guys. All right, thank Hold you. On. Uh, I know. Alright, lads, how are we doing? We fucked up. Hey, Rusty. Yeah. This is the box. How are we doing, lad? Go on there, Felix. Yeah, that's a bad, not a bad. I wish it was his name. I'm muting myself real quick, brother. I'm hey. Rusty. My name's hey. John. Uh, you have to do me a favor. Um, we're about to quick go and do the same. We'll be back in like five minutes. So, I mean, if you boys want to hang around, sit at the fire or something, you're more than welcome to. We'll be back there, will it? I do and appreciate it. And boys up. Alright. I got barely, alright? Alright, let's go. You boys calling Valentine's Will? Yeah, yeah. Can I get so over you? Find these fuckers, yeah. Alrighty, we're good to go. To you. You hey Jacob, buttons. What's up? I'm Rusty. Thought I could smell you over there. You need a fucking shower. I took a bath. What do you mean? You probably smelled the free sweet love she gave me. I was just talking to Buck there. He kind of gave me a bit of the rundown. I'm getting the same thing tomorrow. Meet him at Central Park. Kind of oh, you did talk to Buck, right on. I didn't know yeah, that. He, he found me out back. He was he was walking around saying I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone. But uh, eventually I cornered him over there. I feel mighty short around him, you know? He big man. I feel short around him, but I need that memo. Yeah, that boy big. He built different, like a brick shit house. He definitely built different. He's Jacob's Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was scared shitless. I pulled in here. I thought there's some kind of fucking gang hound out, and two big man, burly man, approached with mask on. I said, I'm dying. This is where we die today. Nah, he's some good people here. He's a... The lady you're looking for, her name's Anastasia. She, uh, she told me she's the one that wears the pants around here. Oh, we just met some, uh, some fella. Said I gotta go. We said to be back about five minutes, get us set up. I understood. I reckon. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, uh, did some farming of eggs not long ago. 
Yeah. yeah, that's a stressful job. I won't lie to you. There's a lot going on getting those eggs from those chickens. Yeah, I might do a couple of shift yeah, or two you here. Yeah, pull from the chickens. What, what, what are you, you doing? You gotta take the eggs right from them. Can I actually pull them out of them? They don't poop them out of themselves. You gotta pull them out of them. Well, they they just pop out. Just don't don't be like that. That's a bit weird, there, Rusty. Yeah, they can all kick you off this place. You be doing something like that, Rusty. But, uh, no, nah, I might do do a shift or two, learn the rope, and then, like I said, I'd like to reckon in on out to St. Denis, get ourselves set up. If that way we're able to work tomorrow, we can, uh, you know, get out there, get ourselves acclimated at the train station. I'm, I'm 100% down for that. We should probably ride together and make sure we're all safe. That's what I'm thinking. We all move one unit. With, well, we me and, me and Rusty set up here, do a job or two, get a couple dollars, because he gave him 200 and that's good. I mean, that'll help you. Him, he needs. He needs. I need to get some clothes too. But just... yeah, he told me he'd give me a couple hundred bucks, but he didn't do that, and he left. Oh, well, so I got, got. I got six dollars. Oh my! <laughs> I got two hundred dollars. He also told me to give me a gun. Baby, I'll give you my eighty-six cents. You can go get a bath with it. I said they were a dollar. The egg. You get paid the eggs and the milk on Tuesdays Maybe. and Thursdays. As long as Anastasia is around, you get paid for the the uh, the, the cattle uh, if they're here. All right. So it works out steady, steady, or is it steady? It, it's steady as much as you want. They they pay pretty well by the look of it. Just uh, they got paydays for the for the big honey items, you know. I'm over sit by the fire, I think. Yeah. Oh man, this is uh, this something. Oh, I I can cook something here. Hey, you know how to cook? Yeah, I can cook. You know what my favorite thing to cook is in the backwoods? Rusty, I can't wait for you to tell me. Beaver. Beaver? I ever had a nice roasted beaver. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever had roasted beaver before. Oh my god, I'll tell you right now. Beaver ribs? I'll and be honest. Free. I didn't even know beavers had ribs. I didn't know that was even a thing. I didn't know a thing either. I thought they were like a fishy, like, fur covered, like. Oh. Lizard or something like that, but then had teeth of a freaking nice saber guy. <laughs> I tell you, uh, by the way, he he uh, Buck told me if we get any coal, hang on to that, <laughs> and he'll buy it right from us. Yeah, we, need, we need a trailer, man, to put some of that coal in. I can't carry a lot in my pocket. Reckon I know you can get a nice saddle when you get your get your situations taken care of there. Get yourself store something there, but I reckon we're gonna have to. Maybe at some point we forget a camp or we'll have to get ourselves a wagon or something or carriage. I say, what's our goal here, fellas? Well, I know Anastasia said she'd meet me back here in about 15 minutes after uh, I did the last job and we're approaching that now. Unless she went to town with those people and they're, she'll all be on her way back. I reckon you said be back in about five. I back up, my toes getting warm. Look at the size of that heifer. That's a good size old cow right there. I don't think it's a heifer. I think that's a bull right there. No, it ain't a bull. Even the heifers grow the horn, Trusty. Uh, hey, can I ask? Trusty's over there do you know if you have to, to have live to get? I, I I would think so, Neil. I would assume you do. Nah, right. I'm they on ain't got the four tits. Red, it's a red good cow. PC. Yeah, actually, fun fact for you: the difference between a cow and a heifer. Heifer is never given birth, and a cow has. So, if it's a non-birthing cow or well, non-birthing bovine, it's a heifer. You sure know a lot about cows. Well, I've been around a time or two. I even fucked around with a pig or two in the bars. <laughs> Wait, you fucked a pig? Jesus! Well, oh, Jesus, man! I wouldn't say a real pig. I just said it squealed like one. <laughs> And then more like a donkey. I mean, I've been hog hunting once a bunch of times. If 
you guys see hey. any buffalo? You you guys got a weapon by any chance? You, you got a you got a long rifle right there, buttons. Yeah, there. You got a long rifle on you? Or yeah, just, there. There you go. What about you? Perfect. You'll need that for the uh, for the cow job. Um, there's some uh, wolves that come and uh, try to you know eat the cows. Yeah, they're gonna eat the fucking bullets, which are gonna eat. I don't play those games, there, Jacob. The killed or be killed kind of world, and I ain't the be killed kind of guy. I, I hear you there. I hear you there, Heifer. You ever try to? I told myself a long time ago, the only person who's gonna kill myself is myself. You ever uh, tried to tip a cow over? What? What do you mean? Every a bitch. Harder than hell, yeah. All right, so Rusty, you, you, you know you know what a suit is, right, Rusty? Hey, yeah. Hey, I told him. I told the book guy that even in fancy, I told him he wore like wool vests and stuff. Hey, he was not a fan of my outfit. He even told me to take a bath. I mean, we've all been thinking it for a while now, Rusty. And I, to I told him I had to take a bath in the same four days. Dang, that was that was slick. You like that? Yeah, I thought that so was, too. That was a slick move. Yeah, I need a feather to teach me how to write. I know how to write. What do you need to write and read too? Oh shit! I didn't know. I, oh shit! Hey, I never knew that you needed to read and write. I didn't know write read the red. What you got over there? Oh, a little something. A little nipper. A little something. Welcome to try some. You gotta check it out through your, uh, you gotta flex that muscle there. Oh man, you took a drink and you fell down. You I right? like drinking. I like drinking. You alright though? You hit your head or anything? Oh no. He's not even drinking. Right there, cowboy. <laughs> Rusty, you alright? You just falling down from being dumb. Hey, I was just getting my berries. Hey, you got my haircut? Oh, you don't get a haircut. I think it looked pretty good. Inside. I think it looked pretty good. Game good. Guys, guys, guys! I, I don't know if we're supposed to go in there, but they got some of those green plants. In oh, there. Hell no, I'm not gonna oh fuck! There. Yeah, Where's nope. That? That's you, bud. I'm Stay leaving. From that right now. I'm gonna tell them you opened it. You're going to prison, bud. It's Rusty's fault. Go shut the door, dummy. Shut the fucking door before they come back. Try to shut it. I don't know it. how to fucking shut the I don't door. Know. You know how to shut the door? No, try to push on the other side. I have no idea. You I'm gonna figure it out, Dave. You're prop. I'm just as dumb as you are. What's up, big cat? Oh, they're coming back. He's so fucked. He's going to prison. I just saved his life. If he left them fucking doors open, we'd all been stabbed. I, I didn't know what was in there. It's scared. I, you did my thing. You didn't even go in that little bunker thing. I went in the bunker thing. I'm telling you, what I saw in there was freaking horrific. Yeah, I'm serious what you saw in there. Because you came out my... I'm telling you, don't you ever dare go in there. In, in, in the bar? Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking around with the bar there was, we were trying to find you. And we found we found a little bunker area. Oh no! What was in there? I, I all I saw was some red stuff from the ceiling dripping to the ground. I got the fuck out of there. 
can look weird and freaky in there. Could have been Kool-Aid. Man, probably not Kool-Aid. Could have been, uh, uh, red wine. Yeah, look like wine. You don't understand, son. Anybody ever ask you, it was definitely wine. So I just kind of realized something that the Anastasia's not here because someone else got robbed nearby. So we should, we should probably be on high alert of that. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'll kill a motherfucker. I'll give somebody fifteen oh. bucks if they go in death oh. and it went into. Hey Anastasia, I'm how are down you? Hi. Anastasia, this is my 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 friends. This is Rusty and uh, John Buttons. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Hello, everyone. I'm Rusty. I'm John. So you said Rusty and John. So which one's Rusty, though? Because they're both standing in front of me. <laughs> oh, you guys move at the same time. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's Rusty. Rusty over there. Rusty's with the blonde hair, then. All right. I'm John. And John's with the hat. Gotcha. All right. So I'm guessing, are you are you all wanting to do some ranch work as well? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Let me get my hands dirty yeah. and earn a living. Awesome. Let me uh, help you with that. Um, I'm going to need you guys' God-given government number. It's at the bottom lower left of your eyeballs right now. Um, if you guys would like to give it to me, get hired. I'd appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, step over here to the painted circle. Right. Yeah. This one is my favorite number is four hundred and fifty-six. Four five six. Perfect. All right, and that's for you, Mr. John. Thank you, Mr. Rusty. Uh, my favorite <clears throat> number is three four zero. Three four zero. Okay, let me hire you on as well. This is that mountain movie, yes, Boda. The right. uh, broke back, I think. So, let's do this one at a time. Thank you. Um, first off, Mr. Buttons and Mr. Rusty, um, let's get you guys into our family newspapers. So you started with paperwork and all that good stuff and finding new badges so you can get right. your cake correctly. You, have you already been trained that in you? Alright. So both of y'all, I hey, need Jacob. you both to put, um... Uh, yes, sir. I'll, I'll, I both need up. you to have put you three trained? dots in the, uh, uh article that says, uh, lobby. And I've done, uh, herding of Absolutely. Alright. So that, that's what I've learned thus far. I haven't, uh, delivered the cows yet, and, uh, it was... Uh, I, I didn't do the milk. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't ready yeah, yet. Yeah, so if you guys can put three dots in the lobby, perfect, Mr. Button. Yes, sir. In the newspaper. Yes, sir. And I got an for my pound of dots. The lobby portion of that newspaper Sorry, of that? the Sidney County newspaper. Go to their Discord, dude. Go in the lobby. You go to their Discord. Go to the lobby. And just type three buttons. Bam, our union. In their in their not in their general lobby, in their whitelisted lobby. Like if you scroll down, it says lobby. You'll dots. see me. Perfect, thank you. You got it, kid. Three awesome. Once you guys are both into our newspaper, just change out your guys' name, and I'll get you guys some shiny new badges. Whatever your name is in game. How do I do that? Alright, so if you guys can make sure you get in, just change out your your names. Help, I can help you with that. Yeah, I'm trying. It's uh, for whatever reason, I ain't seeing it. 
I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry. For whatever reason, I'm having an issue with it. I know what you're talking about, but I ain't seeing it. Uh, I can change it. Um, your northern simulation? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Buttons? Yes, ma'am. All right, give me one second. Fuck you, bot. Yeah, bot is work. Express mailbox. What's your Discord name? Or check your Discord, Pony. She sent you a direct message. You're not getting one? Let her know. Awesome. Don't need to Can correct help, her. Like it's stimulate. <laughs> you know, all right, all right. Facebook, Internet. Northern Simulation, OF, Southern Simulation. That's well? right. Yeah, I can change your name for you in the in our ranch newspaper if you need me to. And um, what was your last name? Uh, fungus. Fungus. Okay, give me one sec. Mr. Wistonat just became a supporter of the stream. Thank you, Mr. Wistonat. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, so who wants to go first? I'll volunteer myself. I'm going to say, let me watch you first. I'm a hands-on listener. All right. All right. So I'm going to stand right here with Mr. Rusty so you can be in that lovely little circle right there that you see on right. the floor. Yep. All right, so you're going to hit the prompt that you see in your eyeball, which should be G. Yes, ma'am. We're going to look at a few things first. First thing that we're going to look at is the environment. Can you tell me what the number for the environment is? 104. All right, so that's a pretty looking environment. So even though the environment's above 100, we still want to make sure that all of our ranch chores is done because this is a ranch, you know, idle minds have idle work. So let's go down the ranch chores and see if there's any ranch chores to be done. All right, looks like uh, you guys need some raking. All right, so hit that prompt, and we're going to go all the way to where the, you see another red circle-looking paint. Yes, ma'am, right a lot here. Of, you're going to see a lot of wrecks going in your face. Don't worry about it. You're just going to on as many as you can so you can get that environment up because we're doing chores right now. What's going on? But I think I'm in love with her. Supposed <laughs> her name's Anastasia. If you're wondering, I miss you guys too, man. No one ever hangs out with me no more. Just a fat kid hangs in his basement. All those trolls were right when I started streaming. They're all right. Shit, you're doing a great job. Right, well, well I learned to rake when I was a boy, so. so. You're raking so hard that you're still holding the rake. You might not see it, but we do. So you might want to take out a sidearm and then put the sidearm back. There you go. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Yep, no worries. Now, if you want, you can choose which one you want to do first. Do you want to do the milk or do you want to do the eggs? Oh, well, I'll tell you. I talked to Jacob when y'all went to town. He said them eggs were a real challenge. I'd love to give it a whirl. All right. So you're going to step once again right into that lovely circle right there. And you're going to go to where it says chicken coop. And you're gonna enter the Ooh. chicken coop, and then you're gonna see check uh, on chickens. Hang on a second. Oh, I didn't go there for me. I'm not getting that uh that that prompt again. Oh, let me see if I have to rehire you. Sometimes that is a finicky. What's That's your number a, one more time? Uh, 456. 456. You got it. That's why. Okay. <laughs> all right so i hired you once again so let's see if you can step on it once again ah uh, yeah there it is all right and the environment's still up yes ma'am awesome so we're gonna go down to where it says uh chicken coop okay 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's open it up, and then we're gonna check on our chickens. The chickens names are called our USDA. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the lovely chickens because they're right here. All right, so you already know this counting can be a little funky, right? So sometimes people poof out of existence and then come back after a little bit, right? Yes. So live chickens make us do that. So we have to sadly kill them. So you're going to a left click, um, left kick them. So when you walk up to them, make sure you left kick them, and so they can die. So we don't poof around this ranch. So I'm you sad got it. to see them go, but we have to kill them because I'd rather us stay instead of them. So make sure you walk up to them. And you're going to do that real quick. There you go. Stop on him. Stop on the last one. Perfect. Oh, right. I'm so yep, sorry. That's fine. You're fine. You're oh, fine. shit. You got three chickens at one time. <laughs> yeah, he did, didn't he? All right. So there's another prompt that you see on the upper left of your eyeballs when you go up to the chickens. It's going to be the G. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did when you're raking. You're going to see a lot of eggs flying to your face. And that's fine. You collect as much eggs as you can. The number I need you to remember, though, is the number that's in the middle right of your eyeballs. All right, so collect as much as you can. Middle right of my eyeballs. Oh, now I'm stressed out. Like he can so hard he's moving backwards. <laughs> all right. Do that? Right? So how many did you collect? Do you Gordon, remember? Gordon, Gordon right? zero. So you got I, zero on the middle right. That's what it said. Eyeballs? Yeah, it said I'd collected zero for the ranch. Are you sure it didn't say ten? I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it said zero. I'm. I mean, I. I, I, my vision ain't that bad. I, I'm pretty darn sure, but I could have been wrong, but I'm about 90% there. Interesting. Let me check this environment one more time then. Yeah, I've never seen someone collect zero before. Unless you missed every single one of them. No, oh, the environment's pretty up there. All right. Well, I'm going to guess that it said 10, and we're just going to give you the 10. All right. All so right. here we go. Um, You see where it says milk and eggs log? Uh, no, ma'am. Family I ranch, or is this the family ranch tab? All right, where those articles are. Uh, hang on, I believe so. No, I gotta go yeah. a little closer up this way. I'm talking about in our newspaper, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, you're fine. Tell. You're fine. In our newspaper, in our newspaper, there's a tab that says um family ranch, and then there's an article that says milk and eggs log milk yeah. eggs log yes ma'am i do see so that you, you see that what jacob did where it says eight eggs zero milk you're gonna yes, do the same thing on your line you're gonna do 10 eggs with the emotion of eggs and zero emotion of milk awesome now the next time you collect anything you're just going to edit that one line. We don't make new lines until it's um, until you get paid, okay? And we do payday on Tuesdays and Thursdays unless you need it before, which is completely fine. You just have to come talk to me and I'll um, pay you <laughs> um, when it, um, whenever you need it. All right, uh, so Mr. Rusty, you're up next. Hi, right, I'm ready. All right, so again, you're gonna be in the same painted circle. All right. Yeah, work for the ranch, guys. Yeah. Iron four. Nice and pretty and high up there. We want to make sure that there's no ranch chores. I don't know where MW is. He's gone. I'll just stand closer so, uh, uh, Brian can hear. I think you actually got zero and did it wrong. How did I do it wrong? I'm looking. Alright. Riding them like that. I didn't mean to have brought them. I'm pretty sure I told them. Got a little toot with it. <laughs> I'm 
not saying anything. That's fine, that's fine. So that's a good thing. Worrying. That's I'll good. Be that means that the all the chores are done. So what we're going to do is go to cow pen for you, because the next person to be done is Miss Betsy right there. She needs to be milked. Oh, is that so her name? To, yep, Miss Betsy. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to milk her. So we're going to go down to cow pen. Farm. We're going to open up cow pen, and we're going to milk a cow. Farm, I'm going to put you on a pet first day. <laughs> We go. We're gonna go right up to her. Don't worry. She might move a bit, but she's not gonna kick you. Okay. His name Bessie. What's up, Bessie? Alright. Okay. Anastasia and Isa Eason. Owners of this ranch. Alright, please <clears throat> make this easy on me there, girl. Look at Rusty getting after it, huh? Going. I think he was 16. I think he's doing alright. That's the number that you kept going up when I would touch the milks. What's that? I said, have you collected eggs or anything yet? Yeah, I got I some eggs. Shit. I, uh, I said one was... number, and then one number Hold. gave me the milk. I got eight milk. Told to get into this uh, uniform for the ranch, but uh, I seem to have misplaced my other clothes somewhere around here. All right. Oh, that's not good. Yep. He probably is gonna walk out. I did not like. I I'm gonna try a different different dill pickle. That's what I'm blaming on. It's a dill pickle. My son loved it. That was great. Was Rusty just over there pulling on tits. Kind yeah, you know Rusty. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot how many milks I got. So you went out and got yourself a real hat. I ain't I don't want to be like that. At least I can grow a fucking beard. I don't know what I can grow. I mean, I see that fucking like dirt thing on your forehead. Or not your forehead, your fucking upper lip. Alright. I'm just... Ever. Alright. <laughs> so now your friend John... I'm sorry, your friend Jacob is actually learning a little bit about hurting. I don't know if he likes it. Um, I sure but do. yeah, all right. Um, but before that, um, I do need to talk to you guys about the uniforms that are around here. We do have uniforms, sadly. I know you guys have some spiffy outfits. I can give you $10. Oh, I appreciate to that. <laughs> but there's I, reasons I, for that. Um, as you do, see, do there's I look okay now. I was yeah, sold to yep. change into this. As long as you have the majority of the chaps hat, at least the red shirt, so when we know what happens when. Either the camp gets raided or a camp mission happens behind there. You know, we know not to shoot our workers. Um, or the other people know not to respect our workers as well. Um, like I said, if you look under the outfit portion of the article, you'll see why we kind of sort of need um, outfits. Because we've had a few mishaps on this ranch already. Where people will use our barn as cover when there's camp missions going on. And sometimes we just don't know who to shoot and who not to shoot. So... I would be very sad if I have to accidentally shoot one of you guys. You, you can shoot Rusty. Time. It's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely not trying to catch your freedom. I'm about to say, I'll take one of those. Not right. Yeah, but it's an expensive doctor bill, and time is money, and I'm a gypsy, and I'm not going to pay it. So, anyway, so like I was saying, I like that. Yeah. But I will pay for your outfit to be changed. So I can give you the $10 oh, for you to go into town. Um, all the mills numbers are there, so you guys can right. change into it. You're more than welcome to add you know little tidbits there you know like he did with a nice looking vest and stuff as long as you have like the chaps the hat and the you know at least a shirt we are more than welcome for anything like that all right ma'am i do have one question here since uh, i'm new to the to the area when mm -hmm. i when i bought this uh, uh all, i lost all my other clothes 
Do I have to buy those okay. bows all over again? Yeah, so when you come in this county off the train, normally you, you, you should save that when you're in the new wardrobe, like when you're in the new store. Um, because when you're off the train, it's just basically the clothes off your back. They're not in your wardrobe at all. Alright, well, I'll lost so, my yeah. Well, it looks like you got an outfit <laughs> planned for a little while, for a little bit. Yeah. Yes, I can't wait to ask him but, next week. Is that the same shirt you're wearing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, that and uh, once uh, Mr. Jacob's done with his herding, I can teach you guys a little bit about herding if you guys are interested in that. Um, other, than, other than like eggs and milk, we're paying eggs and milk day of. I mean, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's a dollar per egg, a dollar per milk. There is opportunity to go up to a dollar thirty-five once you're a senior worker here. Um, for herders, we do day of. It's fifteen dollars a head of cattle, and I pay it day of as long as I'm here or my husband's here. We also have other opportunities to get paid. Um, we have um, lots of orders for planting. We have lots of orders for mining, and we also have lots of orders for lumber, um, usually coming in and going. So we're always changing around here. So if there's anything that you really need, you know, this is a great way to make some passive income until you guys figure out your journey here in county. Well, I do appreciate the opportunity. Hey, Rusty, yeah, why fine. were you milking the male cow? <laughs> it's my pleasure. I don't think it was. Her name Betsy. You better respect Betsy there, Jacob. Yeah, that's, that's good old Betsy. Sometimes she multiplies. She makes Betsy Jr. Go ahead. Betsy on the Jr. Larger makes job. Betsy Jr. Jr. And then Betsy Jr. Jr. makes Betsy Jr. 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 Yeah, you'll see. But yeah, we don't kill cows. <laughs> and if we do, we haul them off. Because dead cows make everybody go pop. It's weird. Dead live chickens make people go pop. Dead cows make people go pop. So remember that. So How's uh? So live cows and dead chickens. Yeah. That's How frequently you guys on. moving cattle? Uh, well, if you keep up with your herd, like if you keep up with your herd, I've seen people make eight hundred dollars a day. I mean, that's oh, how wow. I did it when I Holy started. Shit. So yeah, you got a cattle cattle herder and me. I'm let me. I head town and get my red shirt right now. And like I was telling, uh, like I was telling Mr. Jacob here, as long as you know like <clears> the tips <throat> and tricks and stuff, um, milk eggs always on cool down. Um, the environment about one hundred and fifteen plus, one hundred and twenty plus. You can only walk those girls. You probably walk those girls three times, and then they're good to sell instead of four or five times, depending on the environment. <clears throat> but all those chores usually need to be done. But yeah, so I mean, you can make a lot of money just by herding, you know. And like I tell people, your herd belongs to you unless you're really gone for about an hour, and then I give it to somebody else or I finish it for you, and then it goes off on my cash. Because yep. there will be sometimes people come in like herd twice and then they take off for two hours and that's not fair. You know, I've got six herders sometimes. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't mind giving you guys herding rows as long as you want to actually, you know, herd cattle. <laughs> you run into any people try to give in and you know, try to steal cattle from you or try to give you all a hard time? Is that something we got to prepare for for out there or we find for these cattle's lives? Well, if you look into the, your map satchel. You'll see that our cell barn is in Valentine. It's where the bull um, horns are. I got you. And it's literally down the street. So oh, that's not bad then. That's reasonable. Usually we go in like groups of three or four and you go on shouting and these girls are also loud as hell as well. So, you know, you, you can't really miss them. The only issues that we might have is a buggy and sometimes we, we will kill the person's horse before they even touch it. You know, they've been warned. So, I got you. That's that. God damn. It's my livestock. It's their horse for five dollars from vet biz, like Vill or my my livestock. It's a hundred dollars a head. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah, with my life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there you go. There you go, guys. So if there's anything else, um, I think you just did a herd, um, Mr. Jacob. I'll give you guys nice shiny badges too to see that herd log. Um, and after Mr. Jacob's done with his herd, we can walk with you guys um it's up to you guys how you guys want to rotate but again it's only one herd per person so i mean it's however you guys want to do that and like i said we always have yeah like we have plants and orders now, as you see in the back of this barn you'll see a lot of uh things you go into the freaking barn now you'll probably see my hemp growing there don't tell nobody just kidding actually it's still legal here um it's still legal yeah. here yeah, that's good to know 
Yeah, so, I mean, I'm a pharmacist, so, I mean, I can also make morphine and heroin, so, don't tell me. Oh, shit! Yeah. Rusty, be careful. I don't mind the I weed, but the heroin I'll actually gets too dumb. I'll take your kneecaps if you say anything to anybody. I, I, I don't even remember what we're talking about. I thought we were talking about Betsy. Yeah, we're talking about Betsy. So, yeah, so, long story short. Um, but, yeah, I always put the precious plants in the barn. And usually, you'll see the sugar and the cocoa and the everything behind the barn. Um, whenever we have orders. So if you guys do want to also make extra money, we're always looking for people to give a hoe and a plant or two and some trimmers, some water buckets. Uh, Rusty's a bit know. of a hoe. <laughs> How about, see, yeah. I'm down for whatever. But yeah, so who am I giving $10 to so that y'all can get some outfits? Uh, I'm actually all right, ma'am. I can go. I, 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 can, I, should be all right. I do appreciate the offer, but I appreciate the opportunity to be employed. I think I can fit the uniform structure. All right. I appreciate like I said, your patience. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I, no I worries. think I'm the only broke one around <laughs> here. I spent too much money on a gun. I'm sure you guys are all going to make this place very lively. And like I said, I'll give you guys those harder rolls so that you guys can also see that article in the newspaper so that we can get you that um, paperwork going when you guys are hurting. So I'll also have people walk with you the first few times around so you're not too overwhelmed. Uh, unless Mr. Jake wants you to walk with him. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, that that, that route right. wasn't so hard for the herd. And, uh, but getting them to town is going to be the next step, right? Yeah, it's the next step. So when you see where it says quality 200, don't hurt again because that's when their beef is nice and juicy and it's time for them to go to the slaughterhouse. So just don't tell them that or else they won't go. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> you're going to want to, um, we'll, we'll all go and we'll sell them together and I'll show you how the route to go. Um, if anything is ever like above your head, uh, there's an article called Herding Guide, especially for our herders. You can just take um, a quick look over there and it'll show you the routes. There's two routes you can take. One's right behind here, like it's down this way towards the river, up the river, back through Valentine. Or you can literally go down the road here, you know, and take it straight to Valentine. Because, you know, there's a buggy right there. You know what I'm saying? But usually it's not that well traveled, so I mean, and when you see like people herding a lot of cattle with their friends, they usually slow down. They think it's the coolest thing sometimes, actually. So. Cool. All right, so I need All to make right. sure those uh, those animals are at two hundred percent. Is that what I heard? Yeah. So when you see when it says quality owned and stuff like that, when you see herding, don't herd it again because then you'll put yourself in the negative. So, um, because then it's like you're over exhaust the girls. So just when you see a herding, don't do anything. And then that's when we'll do where it says sell cattle instead. And so there's Dick just running around cutting his lumber. All right. <laughs> we have a lumber order for a train company coming up. So that's what he's doing. He's running around with his axe. Um, no. all right. So if you guys need anything, just let me know. And I don't know if you want to check gotcha, to see babe. that timer's down. But other than that, we'll see you back when you guys have your uniforms. All right. All right. Appreciate the time. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. She cool as hell. Yeah, that was good training. I reckon we head on out and get our uniforms. We I'm gotta... about to say, I need to go get a free red shirt. Damn, I, I got... say, how do I, how do I say this? How do I say my outfit right there? Oh, man. I think you had to do that when you got off the train. Uh, I'm gonna need to get. I already got a red shirt. I mean, I don't know if it's gotta be well, more red. My thing is, like, when we get a new outfit, do we just stay the new outfit? Yeah, I guess. Oh, man. My thing is, if we're supposed to get this red shirt, then we gotta have suits and shit. Yeah, I reckon we have. Well, I gotta get my uniform. Oh, where are you? Are you? Oh, you're not in game. I gotta go get my uniform. My chat was like, oh, this girl's hot. <laughs> the boss of photos, can you ask her if she wants to go on a date with me? How do you like, how do you make- I'll give you 15 bucks. 
What are you saying to me, Rusty? I, I bet you, I bet you, you weren't even going there for 15 bucks. You're going where? That bunker. $15, give me your money, pussy. 59, I mean, I don't have right now, I'll give it to you in the bank, but you ain't doing it. This ain't shit, Rusty. A little blood. What do you mean? Look at this shit. I think you might be being a pussy. Hey, and hey, yet. Hey, oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That's a man. That's a whole ass man. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here before we get killed. That's, that's worth 15 bucks, though. I ain't scared of nothing. They have a tent. You can change your clothes. Yeah, I gotta actually go buy them, though. Oh, we should have asked. Uh, I think gotta go into the hotel. One of the rooms, I think they have a wardrobe you go in and buy clothes. That don't narrow it down at all. <laughs> cool little outfits. Not enough money, ten dollars. Are you kidding me? Come on. I'm fucking buck naked. We're under the bank naked. We're naked, we're naked, don't mind us. I don't want to look at my wiener. Cold outside. I'm a grower, not a shower. Come on, you cocksucker. We're trying to be friends here. Alright, what do we gotta do here? We need to go and put on some boots. They gotta be number two. Alright, so, so news to you guys doing the, the clothing right now as well. If uh, you do bug out and you uh, your head pops, that's a 15 minute time on there. If you don't lose your cattle, that's when you gotta get your feet up and get moving. Chat. 
chapter 67. Loves are three. Gun belt accessory gonna be eight. So we're gonna have to go ahead and hit that gun belt for eighty three. Down here to that hat for 204. No, I'm going to keep my hat. You can suck my ass later. Forty-nine. one. Damn it, I look the part. My God, I think I almost look sexy. You fuck me, cause I'd fuck me. The fuck you doing? Holy shit! You promised you'd get to the moon this time. Oh, well, here's Romeo. You know, <laughs> I got this hole in my pants that caused me all manner of problems. Oh, I know all about that hole in your pants, you goddamn degenerate. Oh, come on, oh, I promise. Uh, Eason Ranch Uniform. Actually, while we're here, we can probably get our our, our suit outfit, right? Another ten dollars. Might be worthwhile getting that now, guys. While we're here, then we just have to ride to Saint Denis. We don't have to worry about um doing it there. Good crash there. Gloves. All right, so we go with that. We go with some. Go with 
cool with some dark pants. So if we rock something like that with Right now, I'm just getting a uniform together for tomorrow while I'm here. Well, I had $200. I just had to go down and get it. I think I didn't leave have it on me because I don't feel like getting robbed. Not bad. But different though. I didn't have to click anything, so I got zero. I think I actually got zero. I didn't click a fucking thing. I told her I got zero. She goes, no. She's like, no one's ever got zero before. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it said zero. She goes, well, I think you got ten. I was like, I'm pretty fucking sure it was zero. <laughs> and Hathaway was like, I think you got zero. I was like, I think I got zero too. Where's your boots at, guys? That's good. I think this will be suitable for... Something I can think of is going with a darker uh, vest. Boots. Boots are dirty. They are dirty. I think I look like a cop. Where my boots at? Right there. All right, these will work. It's going to be called Train Security. I'm going to save that outfit. Now, where do I go to, like, change it? Just change it. You got to do... Do it in there. Closing. I don't want to do that though. I want to. I think you got to buy a room, bud. I'm gonna get some more money out because we're gonna have to anyways. But uh, uh, seventy-five. We we'll run over here to the general store. Get our horse. I want a horse brush bad.
four dollars. Draw plate. Camp flag is ten thousand dollars. Think you need that to make a camp. You guys want me to buy a campfire? I'm gonna buy a campfire. You gotta go in the water. Bits and harlots and all that good stuff. All these little shops everywhere. Dr. Mutton's tea, coffee with cook mutton. Do I have to stay with her for the night, or are we good to clear out what to do with her? Yeah. Is she around you or no? I was just going to ask if I had to rent a room or not. Like, change. I'll just try to rent the room and see how it works out. Fuck. Cost me 20 bucks. Let's see if I can change my outfit in here. Yep. Sure can. That's where you do it. Cost $20 to do it. And you can open up your inventory. And you can put things in your room. Oh, shit. I think I can leave things here, dude. In a hotel room. I think that's how that works. I think if I go and enter a hotel room after. <laughs> you not see my pools? Where are you at, uh, Rusty? You said you just bought Red Dead 2? Oh, she said she, we had to have the hat? Come on, are you guys full of shit? Did she really say that? Fuck. Tony, did you hear her say that we had to have the hat or no? Just get it then. It cost me their fucking ten dollars. God damn, I spend more money being dumb. I ain't get no dog food off today. I think you're right, dude. I think you do have to have that. That was number two oh four. Uh, yep. Eason. There it is.
Don't even head back that way, bud. Head that way when you're ready. <clears throat> I saw my pelt here. Hang on, I think I can sell that pelt I got here, guys. Oh, I guess you're only, no, you're only buying meat and game, you're not buying pelts. So, need the hat, rubber side down. Yeah, all right, I got the hat then. Oh, well, someone killed the horse. I definitely bought a bought a horse brush. This fits my whole build anyways, because I'm a big color red person, so. Calm her down a little bit. She's getting a little hop on a tussie. Right, I'm coming up to camp now. There's a ranch. I don't know where you're at, but... And the work. Also, one more other thing that will earn money is if you look at our job pin board at the end, where it says ranch pin board and it says job pin board, like it okay. shows you like what people are buying. Like for me, and for instance, I'm buying uh, deer hearts right now and a few other things, as well as other things that people around this ranch are buying. So you guys right. also like little tidbits of money you can make around this ranch. I forgot to tell you guys that as well. I was just looking at it because I was thinking about putting something on right now. All right, cool. Just thought I would let you guys know. Ah, right, well, I do appreciate that. I'm guessing that. your friends are just stuck in Valentine. <laughs> well, uh, one of them is out herding, I think. And, uh, yeah, uh, Rusty's trying to figure out his wardrobe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, everybody likes to put on something a little bit different so we at least know, hey, that's John, you know, or that's Sierra, because you'll see Sierra, she likes her little purple sash, you know, right on. Like her little purple sash belt. She's another little harder, and then we got Miss Charlotte over there, she's our, one of our, she's, she's got farm hands, so she does 50 plants for us, Ooh, you know, wow. her sister is Flora, so she also is our, one of our farm hands, so she's got 50 hands. We used to have a shaman, but we're getting another shaman too soon. Um, and then she also does 50 plants for us as well, whenever she comes, so yeah. That's crazy, that's a good amount, that's really getting down to it. Well, yeah, if if I plant it on my own, it's only 10 per person, you know what I'm saying, but people like them are kind of special, they make food for people, you know, so they get 50. Yeah. That's perfect, yeah, it's a good person to have on your team. Yep, yep, especially when you have three of them, you get a really strong ranch going, you get a lot of more orders that way too. Pump him in, look pump at you. him out. You look like you fit in there. Well, I know, right? Look at him. 
Try to look my best. That's pretty fucking hard for you, man. Come on now. <laughs> and down to uh. I mean, well, what I want to see is what Rusty looks having like. some issues with him. Well, I don't need them issues. I need you trying to figure out how will. You know, that feller's like, the you want to try this on? And he goes, oh, I'd love to. And I was, uh, some people like shopping, some people like getting. I guess it's each their own. Right, right. Well, as long as you guys enjoy whatever you put on, I mean, you still have to wear it. You know? I feel bad for this one because he, he didn't save his his train outfit. You know what I mean? I oh, yeah. So no, I hear you. It's all gone. Then my clothes are scattered. There's some... People who don't have homes wearing you just my left them, You just left them on the floor, you know. I think it's just a bad luck thing. I did the same thing at the hotel. I told you I was all set. I forgot before I came here. I put some money in the bank, and then all of a sudden, boom, I had to run over to the uh, bank in my skivvies to get another, <laughs> get some money out. So I get myself, so, yeah, it was. I tell you, I was on the move. You, could, you couldn't have catch me with, with nothing. Right. So how did you guys hear about our ranch anyway? Like. How did you guys hear about this place? I was actually in uh, Valentin over there, and I was talking to one of the local sheriffs, and and he, uh, I was kind of asking for some work if anyone knew anything, and he directed me down this way. Oh, that's nice. I'll we'll have to tell him. <laughs> tell him all. Thank you for that. Then I know that they've been sending work our way. Right now and again, we get to the pin board, but we've been pretty busy to do poster runs. So I felt kind of bad. I'm glad that they pointed you in the right direction. Some people yeah, get I mean, lost. when I walked up there with uh, 75 cents to my name, it maybe it felt bad for me. I have, I have a bit of a problem with money. I'm not going to ask why. We do have a poker table right over there if you want to know. Oh, that shit. That sounds like a really that bad idea. Like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. That sounds like <laughs> I just got my lunch paid for, Jake. Yeah, well, I bought this gun and, and all my money was go, gone. When you go right there behind that, you know, house right there, there's a butcher table, and right behind that butcher table is a poker table. You guys more welcome to use it. All right, Arnie. I love playing poker. Just lose all my money. I'd lose the 87 cents I have in my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can borrow it from someone. <laughs> Just make sure you pay him back. Because yeah, I don't want people to shoot up my house, like my, you know, your workplace, you know, to get I'll back. I don't know gambling that money, I'll be broke. I'm going to be trying to gamble off horses and stuff. I don't know. It wouldn't be a good idea. I'd probably stick to just working for your money. I think you'd be all right. Not like the house wins because there's not a house out there. Well, that's not our house anyway. We're gypsies. We don't need our house. It's Miss Tiffany Lane's house. She worked for the newspaper. She's a nice woman. Anyway, so yeah, so that table doesn't win any money. You just you win it off your We're friends. We're at the farm. Make sure you know your people that you work like playing with. No, we'll keep that in mind. With you. We're heading out. Some rock, paper, scissors, but for, for no money, man. What's and that? Do you guys even know how to do rock, paper, scissors? So I'll do rock, paper, scissors, but I ain't betting no money. Oh, yeah. You got coin flips? We always do coin flips, so if you do, lose, you die. Oh, that's Don't rough. You dare. Don't you dare. I did not oh, get a heads. Do it and see what happens. That seems like a hell of a dangerous game of coin flip. That's not free. Best no, don't you dare do best out of three. Yeah, yeah, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. I'll take your kneecaps before you do it. Alright, one last one. Make them. Uh uh. Uh uh. Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot before you flips it. <gasps> oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I did warn you, I did warn you, I still wasn't gonna do it. Wow, that's crazy, man. He's so lucky. Uh, is she gonna be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. Alright, come on, Dolan, let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that was weird. I tell you uh, what, you got us into a fucking place, but they fuckers are cold blooded. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna blow the on over here and yeah, see what kind of chores uh, we can do before and, I get shot. I'm a choring.
Apartment 85, you doors. How does it work when you do like feeding and stuff? Like, how does that work for pay? Do you have to like market that or something? Do you have to market that down? <laughs> Fucking p feeding. Feeding the cows. Oh, you gotta touch them. Bro, no one said that. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. I'm just gonna fucking leave it and wait and do another one. Do something else. That's brutal. No ranch chores. I can go to the chicken. Chicken coop. Check on chickens. Yep. Yeah. How do you kill him again? Right trigger, I think? Oh my god. Killed them all. Where do you get the eggs from? Oh my god. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> That's what I said. Fucking A. I got seven eggs. <laughs> I did, but she said on the right hand eye. Got to use. Pretty sure. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. Now I'm up to 17. Yes, sir. Alright guys, let's turn up our fucking I got nine milk. Now you know the Fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I'm just sitting here. I'm like, fucking, hey, I suck at this. I'm a terrible farmer. <laughs> so what do I do to check? Environment's at 107. I view cattle, or how do I... Let's keep doing what, chick? I can't do the chicken cool down. I can't do anything right now, but there's no task. Technically, you're only at seven. Up, oh, Hathaway. Don't be a bully. Scare his cows away.
What do you get a dog? What the fuck? My god, Rusty, you clean up well. Look at you, Rusty. Right Rusty? Now you see my goddamn freaking railroad up I don't know, crisper than a freaking crispy. Rusty, move. Move away, Rusty. I believe so. It couldn't hurt again, or we? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping going. I got it's only at like 107 or something like that. Oh, you're close to it. You're really close. Gotta wait to uh, wait some time with those cows. You know, relax a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they go sleep. Let me tell you, and then they get juicy, and then they get juicier, and then they go all to be steaks. I just gotta take them to that. Uh, the little icon or the little marker there in Valentine, the little cow, right? The little bull. Yeah, it looks like a little bull. Yeah, but don't worry, we'll all go as a little group and stuff like that. Yep, yep, yep. Give me a second while I get myself a hunting wagon so I can get these chickens out of our way. When you boys thinking we want to head down to Valentine? When you boys thinking we want to head out to uh, Saint Denis? I gotta finish these guys before I, I do Oh, that I got you. Soon. I got you. I ain't rushing you. Don't be getting all your your feathers up in a bunch. Hey, don't you get your feathers in a bunch here. Bunch feathers. <laughs> bunch feathers. There's gotta be some other work for us to be doing right now. Just I think sitting we're... around picking our ass. No, well, I mean, I'm good at that. You got picking your ass. Ipsy Wolven Driver. If you're under the will, I'm going to kill you. I don't even care. These two are something else. I'm gonna stay out of her way. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, I ain't gonna fuck with her. Oh, this is interesting. Time is money. I don't even care. Time is money. Okay, here we go. Back up. Back up. Back up. Boop, boop, boop. All right, uh, Rusty, are you are you able to do any chicken up. cooper milking? Yeah, go to get to work, Rusty. Don't be such a bum. Like, come on, man. Miss, you want help loading these? You want if help? you guys want, you guys can skin these. And if you guys get two yarrow and two salt, um, you guys can make fried chicken if your guys' hands are up. Oh, okay. It's up to you guys, but I know like some people like to skin them and keep them so they can make fried chicken. Yeah, for sure. I can show you how to get get your hands up. I can get you guys some eggs and some water. And I'll get you guys your hands up real quick. Well, not like that. <laughs> we call um, cooking in the campfire hands up, you know. Well, I got you. How, how, how do you yeah. skin these? You so have a do knife. you have a, a knife? Yes, uh, I, I think I need to equip. Oh, we just picked that fucking thing up like that. Alright, let's see. There is a chicken right here. And let me show you how to get your hands up. I'll have to get some eggs and some milk out for you guys. Uh, not milk. Eggs and um, water out for you guys. I'll be right back. Ah. Put that in the butcher table.
Hey, any of you uh, guys have some food on you? I'm, 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 I'm gonna have a little bit. Hang on. I got water, but no, but no food. Thank you, sir. It was my last meal. Forget it. I'm gonna go over here and cook, though. Rusty, get to work. Hey, when you hit delete horse, that just makes your horse go away, right? 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 Okay. Uh, how'd you make your horse go away there, Dad? You mean you sent it away? Yeah, if you were right on it, and then you hit the delete. I think the, the delete's like the DV. Right click, you can delete. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Watch yourself, but I almost punch you in the fucking mouth. Talk to me like that. Hey, hey, back up. I don't want to fight you. Uh, he's coming over. He's going to fuck you up. You have a problem? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. He decked me out of no reason. We're you all guys, good. Uh, do you guys want to make extra money in between cooldowns? Well, <laughs> bear shit in the woods. You can count me in. Wood, wood, wood. Wood, 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 more wood. Dropping wood? Mm-hmm. Any this wood? I'm surrounded by uh, trees. Gotcha. So, uh, I, what I do is I pay... Which I need to get them to set up a lumberjack roll and all that good stuff too. Um, but I pay any, anything else you guys get, you can keep. But mostly need softwood and fiber. I'll pay a dollar twenty-five for softwood and uh, um, uh, two dollars for fiber. Ah, right, well. Somebody needed an axe. Where we uh? This. Assuming you need an axe, I don't got one of those on me right now. Yeah, you'd have to go down to Rose and buy a few of them. Um, I usually keep some on me, but I don't have that many left, and I chop up a lot. Uh, but if you look on the map, if you're not familiar with where it's at, uh, right in between here and Rhodes, there's a uh, mine you can go to. That mine has a shack there, and you can just buy an axe for $15 from there. Um if it's something that you plan on, you boys plan on doing a lot of, cutting the wood around the farm, I would suggest buying a few of them. Um, Ten of them is $150. Just like being but, in the mine, those things eventually just break down, right? Yes, sir, but it takes a little bit. But I'd keep, you know, ten on me if you plan on doing this a lot because, you know, like I said, you don't have to leave the farm to do it. Um, no. But I'll have a, I have a wagon that I... Uh, stock that stuff with so i'll show you guys where that's at and while we're in the um midst of it or while you guys are doing your thing getting your stuff together to do it i'll uh get with anna and, and have her set up a lumberjack roll and all that good stuff too what's your name my name's dick bones i run the uh lumber outfit around here dick bones dick bones it's a pleasure to meet you mr bones it's my, nice to meet you. My guys. name's John Buttons. Okay, I think I heard your name earlier. I think a train guy. That a good thing? Here. Well, a train guy came out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Buttons. yeah. Uh, Buck. Buck Mahone. Dove, you better know. Yes, sir. Yeah, I do the work with him, too. Good feller. Got you. Well, I will uh, see about getting something set up for us so we can keep up with it. Love you better. You know, All right, fella. That'll give you guys something to do in between, in between uh, the cows and chickens sleeping. Keep you busy. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. No problem. Um, so the first order might be a little limited on funds until I get that sold. I might be able to go sell some stuff to the market and get you guys a first paycheck or two just to get you off the ground. Um. The first big order I have, 
I won't have payment until the the uh, wagon sold, but then after that, I'll get you guys taken care of every day. But you can trust me. I have a good point. I just bought a wagon, so I'm strapped for cash right now. I understand, man. I understand. Living ain't easy. Life ain't cheap. It's definitely not. But this guy's buying uh 1350 uh, softwood and 750 fiber, right. so it's a big order. I can definitely use the help. All right. Well, yeah, we're out of boat, man. I'll be happy to. You usually working around the farm here? All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm around here somewhere usually. Rusty. Right. Um, if I'm not here, I'm in Val, but I. I but. generally stay around here. If you can't find me, I'll be out in the woods somewhere chopping wood. All right, brother. What's up, Jacob? Yeah. Uh, Anastasia wants to see us. Ah, excuse me, sir. No problem. And gather around. Whatever he did is Rusty's fault. We're going to teach you some women work. But work that you're going to have to understand. All right, so we're going to learn how to make our hands go higher here in this, uh, in this lovely little kettle in front of us. So I'm going to give you a few tools of the trade. And in doing so, um, just going to pack around six eggs a piece to 340. Six eggs to five, four, six, and six eggs to um, six, eleven. I'm also going to give a bucket to three, forty, a bucket to lovely four, five, six, and also a bucket. Lovely to boys, you hear that? Six, eleven. I'm going why, to why give aren't six. Why are lovely? I'm lovely as fuck. How you <laughs> like that much? Six. Um, glass bottles to 340, six glass bottles once again to 456, and one to uh, and six to 611. So if you guys can do me a quick favor, there is a watering pump right there in front of that house. There's also a watering pump around the barn um, to the backside. If you can, go pump the water. You're gonna hit G when you see that spigot. It's actually and pronounced water. 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 Um, actually, you know what? Let's go take a little like, walk to it because give me a second. We're gonna walk to the watering pump and I'll show you which what they look like. The watering pump. Not the water. All right. So you water. guys can fill a bucket with any kind of water around the county, but the best kind of water is the filtered ones that come through the pumps. If you fill your bucket with water from a river you're gonna have to learn how to cook it which i'll teach you that later but you see this lovely watering pump right here you're going to step up to that spigot and you're going to hit the prompt that you see on that watering spigot should be g all right and you're going to pump it a few times it's okay both of you guys are pumping at the same time so we're team effort <laughs> it's, it's best teamwork oh man all right Mr. S, you too. You have a water. You have a watering jugs too. You have, a, you have a bucket. Oz. Hey. 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 Oh my God, you green orange. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we're taking time <laughs> yeah, to get yeah. their oh, food it. and stuff going. Also, How you doing? I need to talk to you about making me some trimmers and some more planters, sweetheart. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I need them. <laughs> so I'll make you. <laughs> You're, you're you're my stock knife. <laughs> <laughs> Did the uh, I say you give them hose? Yeah, yeah. The, all the holes. He was, he, he was <laughs> uh, <laughs> By the time, by the time <laughs> I remembered about trimmers, I was out of mats. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Here's all people I've known. All the hose of the, all the I'm world. In, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like hose. Yeah, come on, Charles. Come on, Dick. God damn it. Why does want everybody get into a prison Wait, outfit? Because that's where you're going to go after rubbing that fort. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, that. That's where you're going to go. You need to wear the battle carvers to get there. You know what? You know what? You need to identify you. All right. You guys already got your buckets? Yeah, already. All right. Let's go back to this lovely campfire, all right? Oh, that was a meal. Alright. So, we're going to go to the lovely campfire, because this is what we need. Here, let me finish this trick real quick. Okay. 
Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make water because that's what we needed in the um, to survive, right? Because everybody needs water. So we're going to hit G on this lovely crafting menu rock right here. We're going to hit G, all right? You're going to go down to where it says survival on this lovely opened up uh, cauldron of ours. And you're going to see where it says six times bottled waters. So I'm, I'm going to yell just so everybody can hear me, all right? Don't think I'm being rude. And you're going to open up that six times um, bottled waters. And you see where it says six times glass bottles and one watering can. You all have that in your pockets right now. Because we just pumped that bucket full of water. And I already gave you six glass bottles. We're going to go all the way down to where it says craft. Don't worry about the description unless you will make it so, um, labeled something nice and pretty. We'll talk about that later. Um, you're going to go all the way down to craft. All right. You're gonna craft one set of that because again, there's only you only have one set of that. And then you're gonna do a skill. You're gonna hit that E when you see that um, line hit the middle of those in the middle of that box. All right. So if you open up your pockets, you're gonna see that you have six water bottles now and one empty bucket. All right. Everybody, hey ho, passed. If not, we'll fix it again. I passed. Yeah, I passed too. Woo. I'm that Rusty didn't pass. pass. Rusty? Jiggy, I swear I passed. You want to check it for yourself? Rusty? That must have got its own. I think Rusty being a little quiet in his voice there. That's fine. We'll just keep it going. I'm just going to hope that he passed. If not, he's not going to learn he how did. to get fit. No, fed. he did pass. Right. He said he's all set. <laughs> You're just really okay. quiet, bud. All right. So we're going to go all the way down to where it says food because we're going to teach you how to get those hands up, okay? Um... So if you go down to food, before you even open up the food menu, all right, you see where it says cook food and crafting experience? Mine's at 128. There's, um, there's for me, when I open it up, I see that there is 36 recipes given to me um, of this lovely, um, you know, kettle in front of us. Um, so the more you get your hands up, the more food options is given to you, and then the more um, you'll be able to, to create each food gives us um, something um, that's uh, like gives us more like a uh, like filledness, you know what I'm saying? So if we're starving, so something like cake, which is harder to make, um, gives us more of like a three fourths of our stomach full. If you guys are catching my drift, I got you. you know what I I'm got saying? you. So it's like steak and eggs and you know edible vegetables and stuff like that sometimes give us half of a stomach full. So I mean. So right now we're going to learn um, to make boiled eggs because you guys have eggs and I have eggs and everybody has eggs on this farm. All right. Sorry about that. My voice went away for a little bit. All right. So we're going to open it up. We're going to see where it says six times boiled eggs, right? So we have six times boiled eggs. We have one water and we're going to do the same thing what we did with survival. And you're going to craft it and you're going to make sure that you um, do that lovely skill when you hit that line in between that box you hit e don't screw it up there rusty all right, all right i have more eggs it's fine you guys have six bottled waters in your pocket all right so now you guys have food and water in your pocket now so if you guys eat you know how to eat you guys know how to drink now we can go into this menu one more time and now you'll be able to see that you guys can make um things like jerky if you guys get um venison like deer um you guys should be able to make things like um meat fruit salad um i'm able to make things like breakfast edible vegetables <coughs> fried taters i'm able to make a lot of other things if you go all the way down though you guys can make things like a. Uh, uh, frogless, Dajun's famous frogless and meat skewers and stuff. That's rats and full frogs. My Make my brother likes to the fire too. Um, so it depends on your job. If you're a lumberjack, you can make that. So basically, if you ever get yourself a job like myself, I am a pharmacist. Like I was talking to you guys before. I use the medical menu, um, recipe med menu book on this kettle. So, and as you can see, you can put stuff in your favorites. Um, you can always put stuff in your favorites. You can take it out um, as your journey progresses. Same with blacksmiths. So if you're a blacksmith, you can always learn how to do blacksmithing stuff when you're a blacksmith. If you go down to basic, a lot of people use the basic menu for when they're um, 
uh, things like horse trainers and um, other jobs around the county. They're able to make things like chewing tobacco, cigarettes, cigars, pipes, papers, all that good stuff. Uh, I mean, take a good look. You can look to see other ways how to make stuff for drinking. So it's not just water. Water is a good start. But there's other things how to make us um, um, get things like, for example, if you're exhausted instead of spending $2 every single time when your core stamina core runs out and runs to red and you look like you're breathing very heavy. You know, you, you drink coffee, right? So you're, you've are got another pep in your step. So making coffee yourself is a it's lot interesting. cheaper I than like spending this. $2 every single time. Because each seed gives you seven coffee beans. You know, kind of thing. So That's good to know. Um, and it's only $0.25 cents per seed. So it's like, it's a lot cheaper to make it versus buying it for $2 at the like a, a government general store. You just buy I mean, this right at, you can buy the campfire supplies right at the store, right? Yeah, it's $15. Or if you see big campfires like this one, um, this one's from an outfitter menu. Um, he basically packs it up into my own wagon. And I've got a few of those things like that horse hitch right there that you see um, right there underneath that tree. That gypsy wagon that's out there at the middle of the road. That's an outfitter. There's a few outfitters around here that's basically like if you think about going camping and you pack things up and you pack things out every storm they go away and I just come out and then bring them out again. But yeah, you can get yourself a campfire for a pocket campfire as well. And it's $15. Yeah, I did grab one of them just to be safe. And if you grab yourself a pocket campfire, make sure that you always think in a skybox forward slash D campfire. And then it goes back into your pocket. Sadly, if you head pop, that campfire no longer belongs to you. Oh, well, I guess so was life. Yeah. It just forgets that it belongs to you, that's all. Hey, I got one last right, question. I, oh, sorry, you go ahead, I Jake. might go do some herding here in a second. Get that uh, done right. and over with. All right. I may just tag Jenny. along for the ride. Yeah, my last question was, uh, when I went down, I noticed when I was grabbing some outfits there, uh, hotel up there. Now, if you rent a room, can you leave, can you put things in your room and they'll stay there? Is that safe to say? Yeah, so it's one-time fee of every hotel. And every town is one time fee of twenty dollars. So if you go to a new town like Blackwater, it's twenty dollars. Valentine twenty dollars. I got you. So I just got one here in Valentine. So now going forward, mm -hmm. I got access to a hotel room in Valentine. Exactly. But the thing is, it's like those. Um, if you put things in the suitcase there, it doesn't travel to Valentine. Like it doesn't travel from Blackwater to Valentine. So you always have to go to Valentine if you remember that you left something in Valentine. I you really but your wardrobe that. does, you know. Oh, good so if you know. go down, if you go to the dresser, your wardrobe will travel. I really appreciate mm -hmm. all the information. It's been a real breath of fresh air. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for it. No worries. Been doing this for quite some time, and so I mean, don't mind it. At least it's not as strict as my last place, so we're good. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Sometimes government really crushes down. They'll tax people right till you can't live no more. Yep, yep. I, I damn like government. the looseness of it. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm can't let the government spirit, keep you down, man. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. I actually, well, the other day, we were out exploring. We are coming down through St. Or around there in New Austin. I got myself one of them yeah. funny cigarettes. I'm going to tell you. I was looped right up, man. That ride coming up through the yeah. desert was insane. Well, I've had myself some muskrat pie, and it's not really like a crazy cigarette, but it makes you feel like some fuzzy color is swishing around in your eyeballs kind of thing. You, like, you figure out what the color is. Muskrat like, pie, yeah, muskrat you say. pie, yeah. And, and you're able to make it, too. When you're, delicious. Yeah, and you'll be able to make it, too, once your hands are up, you know, high enough. My uh, little hawkeye, my, uh, my hawk usually likes to bring me some muskrat every now and again, so I'll make some muskrat pie. That's you know, awesome. whenever I have all this stuff. Yeah, I played around a little bit we with it. We need muskrat. Yeah, I'm well, yeah it's American a, muskrat. It's the main ingredient, bud. Make sweet potato pie. Main ingredient in that's gonna be sweet potatoes. God mm -hmm. damn. And you guys already know where the trapper is too, right? So like those uh, chicken hearts and those chicken feathers that you got from the chickens. Uh, you guys can take them to the trapper. And jack from your pocket to his doorstep and or his wagon, depending on what town you're in. 
You just drag and drop, and if you use accepting it, it'll turn green in your pocket. Oh, good to know. I appreciate it that. It looks like a little paw print in the map satchel. Yeah, good to know. I do appreciate right. it. No, I appreciate you guys for staying here. All right, let's see what he's doing with this herd. It looks like he's about to start it. I can always ride with him, right? Even though it's uh, just for him. What? So let me know right. if I'm in the middle yeah, of any of them. I got all three here. All right. You're doing a really good job, Jacob. You're keeping on it. Thank you. Like I said, as long as there's a... The trick, as you saw, is like keeping everything on cooldown. Or like milk eggs on cooldown. You know, these girls will have like a really good walk every single time. Good to know. And then, like I said, if Come if on, you got, if that um, Come on, girl. Come on, girls, if that um, if that uh, environment is nice and pretty and sitting at like one thirty and one forty, they only walk uh, three or four times, or uh, yeah, uh, two or three times. Yeah, this is my fourth time, and I'm not really understand why. I, I tried following what you said, but I think it's because one time I looked over there and the environment was at ninety four. So when it starts to dip before, like below 100, it's kind of hard to get it right back up to not 100, like above 100. Yeah, TP over there. Yeah, that is a TP over there. Kind of make like a little like marketplace. That's why if you look at the the road, there's like a little marketplace area. So if people have like their own shops and stores for later on, they can throw them there, so they can have you know a place to sell their wares and stuff. That's pretty cool. That's a crime out in this way. Is people pretty timid, or are you dealing with some folks that like taking shit that don't belong to them? Nah, sometimes people, I mean, it's the Wild West still, you know. Um, you still have family. You see something, brother? I'm guessing you saw that. I didn't. Alright. I don't see the wolf. I don't sure see nothing did. either, man, but I'm glad we got him. Yeah, well, he's the one that's used three cows, too. I don't see him. I see yeah. two cows. Yeah, same thing. So, as long as he sees three cows, I don't care. So, anyway, um, you crime down this way? Um, I mean, we just had a few of our own ranch hands sadly get, um, robbed on their way to. I'm guessing one of them got out of the way. That's why he stopped again to him. Yeah, it could be there, there, and it could be these uh, these ferns. There they get goes. in your nose and get you all tore up. All right, girls, back in line. Now, are there any places we should stay away from? Uh, Rick Station. If you can go around it, I would. Um, usually, um, I was told last few days people are getting robbed like, right outside of Ballantyne, not from this side, but from the other. Oh, I got you on the prairie side. side yep. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta head out to St. Denis at some point. I got, uh, Buck came by the farm earlier, but he, uh... I mean, it's kind of hard to get robbed on this side when it's literally down the road from us. So it's like, and we would have taken care of it real quick. So I think it's, like I said, I think it's from the other entrance. That's why everybody keeps talking to us about. And they went from three to two, and they're going back from two to one. It should be the last one. If you look at sell cattle and it says 200 quality, you can it's have to be on cooldown. Oh, my head's popping. Come on now, Betsy. Yeah, big oh, hey girl, don't run into me like that. I feed you the corn. Oh, <laughs> he did it. <laughs> you did it, buddy. What's that? Uh, right click. Don't use your controller, buddy, because it's a. It, they're not gonna fix it. If you pull left trigger all the way. You'll fall down. It's a ragdoll. No. 
unless you can try this if you lightly lightly press on left trigger it'll work but if you yeah yeah but you got to be like very very light with it i was wondering why they stopped yeah her head popped too just coney and i here with the cows just the two of us doing cow shit with our cow friends Wow, you guys see that? You guys hear that? Okay, this guy just tell us how to do it. Get her down, bud. All right, Buzzy. We should prop. Yeah, we probably should have had this. Had this ain't the knee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can take a train, or you can... I mean, I don't know if he's going to have a... I, I, I would assume if he had a little ticket to give us for trains, we probably would have had it. What's that? That is true, because I'll probably head down to St. Denis, and I'm, I might get some money and buy a hotel down there. So well, I guess it doesn't matter, because your stuff doesn't travel, just your clothes. Uh, we could, I mean, because that way in St. Denis, we could you know, head down that way and fucking... I'm going to do some chores. You're right. Come on, cool down on that. I could. Uh, I don't know if I should try it. Holler at me. You guys, believe that talking to people like that, I'll be ashamed of himself. How do I know what lumber I can cut down? Ancestor? Cousin uncle. Cousin uncle. Uncle, I think, is what they refer to. Good to know. Oh, fuck me. It's good to know that you got to go directly in the middle of those lines. I thought you had to go like right at the beginning of it. Out here gathering some wood, guys. You know,
I'm just out here trying to collect some wood, guys. What a reason I can't find another piece of wood to cut. Oh, there it was. I drank something after. What's that? What are you saying there, fella? Oh, how's the job in wood? Not bad. Bad I got you just collect like sap and shit. I don't know where this fella is. Holy shit, what a mustache. That yeah. has got to be the biggest stash I ever seen. It does, man. Keeps my face nice and warm when it's cold out. I fucking bet. Who's a fella here looking for wood, man? Is this guy over here? Who? What? Lumberjack. Guy looking for people chopping some wood. Uh, this is Dick. Oh. He, he's a lumber guy. What well, I thought, well, I man. Think. Oh, stop. My name's Lil Jack Glad. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's John. John Buttons. Nice to meet you, man. You and your big ass mustache. Hey, man. Like I said, keep <laughs> my keep my lip clean, lip, man. man. <laughs> keep my lip clean. I'm right in the middle of the courtyard. Hey, man. I went down there and I uh, I, I like chopped you, some. Man. I, I chop, used to have a big stash too. <laughs> chopped some wood, man. I don't know if you wanted where you wanted that to go. You talked to me about it earlier. Um. Are you talking to this fellow? I think or so. Is this fellow. I don't know where 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 Dick go. Is that Dick? I believe. Where's he hey, at? Hey, Dick. He's trying to. Dick. He's trying to get I'm here. Going. Oh, he took his shirt off. Oh my God. Dress again. Dick. Dick. What the hell? Going. What the hell did you do? It changed it back to my stuff. Did you not the, save um, it? Run in the hideout and yeah. change your outfit. God dang it. <laughs> Hopefully, he had money on him. He's all holy. <laughs> he had ten dollars. Yeah. He's broke. This fella has wood or something, he's saying. Yeah, yeah. He's Dick was saying he was looking for some soft thing. wood and whatnot. Oh, yeah, Dick's uh, the person to talk to you about that. Because yeah, he's, well, he's got a big old order with Mr. Blaze. He's, yeah. He's, sorry, yep, that's definitely all right. totally you saw that freaking. Fine. I know. I, totally I probably deserved it. From the biggest horse fly I ever saw right I there on your mustache. It. I appreciate it's all right. that. No, I don't padding. feel it. That's a hard. It's a hard mustache to feel anything on. So I feel you. I bet. He's got a lot of padding. He's all right. I know that, so... But once we get back, get it, bud. Lad, get I'll, it. I'll, I'll I'll send Dick your way and have him uh, pay you. Why out is Oz on invisible shit. horses? Something to I do stop. appreciate that. Yeah, we're about. Well, there's a chance we might get arrested by like the army. So. All right. All right. Go. Oh. The cavalry of Jesus. Yep. All came last time. Yep. Hey, look! I'm gonna kick the bucket. <laughs> 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 All right, that's, that's great. I like that. That's a funny one. I get good with every now and then. Yo, I swear to God, this bucket's been here forever. Oh shit! There's, What's a, that? there's buckets everywhere. Those like, are every a pretty sturdy bucket. Oh, them damn so going to the fort? Yeah, I'm just waiting for Dick. He ran up. In we the always motherfucker waiting for Tom. And then oh, these guys are gonna rob something. Found. I think that's it. Isaiah, oh, I see him over there. I think he just head popped as well. Did he? Every fucking time so. with that guy. Every time. I don't know what the hell it is with him and his head, but <laughs> man's popping everywhere we go. Where are you guys? Uh, 
Owen's doing it recently as well quite a lot. Um, you're in the trigger. You clear your brain out, like all the, mm -hmm. the weird junk. Yeah. yeah, do that, and I tell you the county wastes for them. I did it not too long ago, like a couple of days back. You can tell the difference Catch though, huh? Like from when like, oh, yeah. these guys gonna go rob a fucking days. rob somewhere. I don't know. I heard they wanted to tour. I should hang out long enough, get invited. But uh, I gotta get off at some point. I work in the morning. Let's see who's ready for that last one. All right, I see three of them, so that's a good thing. Me too. <laughs> is it, what is it called? Um, yeah, silent. Yeah. Do you, do you make any noise? That's the question. Is it though? Fucking <laughs> right. Cody. Tony, if you can hear me, hit page up and turn your little black level until it's like in the middle. Because I can hear you and I'm fucking all the way out in the fucking field. Love how these cows are looking at the other ones like, will you escape, bitches? Escape, so can you. You said you gotta pay a hundred a head for one of these cattle? So, when I pay so that we can bring them to the barn, it's $50. And then when we sell them, they're, they become a hundred. So basically, I get my fifty dollars back, and then it's fifty dollars to sell. That's good, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then I, and then I give him fifteen dollars a head. So yeah. Like I said, I, I run a ranch in hopes that other people can have employment, or I could have just, you know, grinded it myself. I guess, but I'd rather have just yeah, it makes sense. people. <laughs> Come on now, girl. You're all right. All right. Underfoot's doing really well. And the girls are loud. I already know that this is probably their last walk. Hey, oh. hey, hey. Turn back around. Come on now. Come on now, girls. Head on back now. Uh, it's okay, girl. Come on. Spin her around. These cattle reacting to you. They're coming around. You don't want to get behind the cows just to see where they're going because they might be just going on the right path and you just don't know it. So get behind her. There she goes. She's getting back on the path. Well, Jack has been known for leading folks off the, off the path, as you can see from Rusty. <laughs> You're talking, but we can't hear you. I'll turn your voice up a little bit. And they're gonna go home. How long y'all been ranching for? Well, I used to have a spiritual deja vu dream on another pair of boots, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yep, and then you've only owned this ranch for less than a month. Seems like y'all stay pretty active. Yeah. I've been out and ranching for about a year, though. That's Deja good. vu looking. Yeah, you gotta get your you gotta get the experience you know, under your belt. You like badass, you yeah, I, I was the youngest daughter to a very 
wealthy rancher there in the west who wears green very proudly. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go and look to see what selling the cattle looks like. Because I've got to us to go in. Um, um. Call your, um, your horse, your steed, before you call the girls out. Come on, Lady Elizabeth. It's only at 113. And you'll call your horse? Don't get on it. Only at 113. But 113. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. It it's probably because of the whole head popping stuff. I'm having issues. That's all good, brother. We can talk about it here that way. She keeps her in the loop, too. Uh, it's up to you. I don't care. Alright, hopefully the next round we'll be able to walk him after that. You guys need to get up to St. Denis anytime soon, or what's uh, what's your scenario? Uh, what are you thinking there, uh, Rusty? You want to head out that way? Oh my god, Rusty, are you okay? Nora just kicked you in the face. Am I right? You can watch out behind her, man. She don't like that. Oh, Nora. Nora's my horse. Oh, gee. Wait, Nora. She just took off over yonder. She's over here on the edge of the barn. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I don't know. My horse's name is Jacqueline. Jacqueline. I'm Juliet. She got a little lean to her. Yeah, they all do. If you ride them over offering, you should. I think she's got a bad tendon. It might be time to put her down. Might be. Do you guys have any chicken coops or cows to work on? Well, I'm going to check right now. Or is it on cool down for all of us? I said my turn out still on cool down. I like your hat. Yeah, me too. You just call me a hat. You got, I got something for you. You got for me. Hey guys, you know what I learned down at the uh, saloon down there? Yeah, I don't like yeah, I forget how I gave you. Yeah, flex that right clicker. When did you learn that saloon? Or this. You learned that at the saloon. I'll tell you what. Yeah, do me sorry. do me a favor, Jacob. Do me a favor. Never fucking do that when we're around anybody right, ever I, again. I got some cats to let out in my head, so I'll be right back. Alright. Alright. I learned that. I learned this. Um, uh, my, my favorite number, man, took me a while to figure it out, but I'm really partial to 456. All right, you're man of your word, Rusty. I don't care what Jacob says about you when you're not around. You're a good dude. Oh. <laughs> you ever wake up in the morning with a hurt neck like this? No, man, I try not to put too many things down my throat to hurt my neck that bad. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Shut up, Rusty. I like your little mount me hat there, though. Whoa, 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 now, brother. Ain't no reason to be offended. Yeah, she was saying they were dealing with some people. Uh, of the unthievery kinds down on the far end over uh i don't know over that way uh on the other side on the other entrance into valentine 
<laughs> you alright, bud? I can swallow the fly. Yeah, be careful, bud. Man, we all look the same. Yeah, I think it's what they wanted. Clothes. Me too. Some, some other guy has my clothes. The one other guy's got my clothes. I'm bad looking in your ass, Jacob. Looking at my ass? I mean, I do even have shaves. Look at this. See this? Yeah, see, anyways, you're back in pretty nice. Yeah. I like a jig you're learning. It's very hard, you know. I like my women just a little on the trashy side. Look at you, look at you. Now, did you learn that while you're sober, or is that just like your your normal move? Like you're drunk. I'll have baby? you know, good sir. I'm actually a very fine established gentleman. Not used to Rusty being so clean looking. Like Rusty has a has a feel to have your toes covered by the top of a shoe. Well, shit, the bat the bat lady, she really held me in my downstairs apartment. It's not really a jungle down there anymore, so it kind of feels weird. And with these chaps and shit, my balls keep getting stuck inside of my legs. I don't like it. Well, they're supposed to help you. I know you still ride bareback or whatever on the horse there. It's going to help your uh, your groin area down there near your balls. Yeah, she, did, she did a number on them. On oh, lady in the bathtub? Yeah. I bet she did. I bet she did. You're lucky she didn't take you for $5. What would that like to do? It was $5. It was $5. You paid $5 less some hooker yank at your horn. I paid, I paid a dollar to get in there, and then he said, uh, she came in there and said, do you want to upgrade for some extra time? And I said, how much? And she said, five dollars. And I was like, okay. And she kind of had a little beat mass into her, too. Oh, she you know, one of them foreign girls? Know. Like, what do they call them? Nah, them? she, she's not a nice. She freaking, like, sucking out dirt and stuff. Like, had rocks in her throat. Had rocks in her throat. My God. Hey, Rusty, what's that? That over there, Rusty. What? <laughs> Made you look. Fucker! I tell you what, that Jacob man, he's one, he's one chicken shy from being a cocksucker, huh? I got lucky. My first interaction with that feather, he came and said, "Hey, you, hey, you," and I punched him in the face. Well, to be fair, I'm my first interaction, I lasted your ass off the back of your hearse. I say, I thought you got kidnapped me. I thought you guys chased me down from the other place and I'm <laughs> trying to get the money I owe. Oh, God. I bet that made your asshole pucker up tighter than fucking $2. I ain't with him puckered. I think it disappeared. Oh, God. That ain't good, man. How you gonna poop? It was like, what do they call those science things in the freaking, uh, in the water? They swirls around. The ice cubes? I don't know. Something like that. Oh, not the cubes. I'm talking about the thing if you're like a body of water and the alien dude's like That fucking guy, like, I tell you, man, he loves pulling on fucking male cows. It looks like, like a tornado. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Shit scared the piss out of me. I think it's a All right, we gotta use this, guys.
I got ten. At it. I think she said she paid the dollar an egg, so that's all there. Take that. I got 50, 50 seconds before I'm done this uh, herd. Pull your gun out real quick, brother. You got that rake in your hand. All right, I think I'm going to go to Valentine, go to my hotel room, sleep there for a night. All right, I fella. can't afford a hotel room. I'll um, meet you guys over in the... Saint Denis tomorrow. You guys give me a time. I'll make sure to come a little later. Probably. They probably right about nine. I'll have to get a whole buck. See what time that train running through. If he's going, he's begging to run on there so we know how to react. Because I'm ready. You're ready, eh? Look at you. Always ready, kid. He was going to give me a nice big gun for tomorrow as well. That'd be nice of him. You seem like decent folk around here. Oh, sure do. Hey, can you back up a little bit? Yeah, you trying to get on to me or something? I know I'm good looking, but you gotta contain yourself. This is our workplace. I totally respect these chaps are assless, but you gotta respect it. We've been working on the branch for a minute. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on now, girls. I can't believe I still got a voice. Oh, hey, man. hey, hey, you dirty bitch. Get bound and turn back now. Come on. I reckon about time you get moving. As soon as, uh, as soon as we're done with this, we can take him to the Valentine and move on. Yeah, I said we head on out to St. Denis for Dark Settles in. I want to be there tonight. That's where I want to sleep. Yeah, same here. Sleep there, get oh, some rest. Some to buy some, to buy a suit. He never gave me that 200 bones that I needed. Yeah, it's gonna cost you about ten dollars. I got ten dollars for a cheap fuck. I, I should get paid for this tonight. As long as she's here, she said though. Yeah, she may be ditching you by doing this for free. You're gonna this for charity. I'm just yanking your chain. I like getting you riled up. You like, like if they were to ever like have like a toy or something where you like wound it up, like you'd be like that. Hey now, hey now, heifers, turn around. Whoa, that's fucked up. What the dog ever do to you? That dog been a little unfavorable to you? Hey, hey, keep going. Hey, 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 girls, 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 girls. Did you just head pop? Oh, you did. Hey, do you know how to like shoot up in the air? Yo, do you know how to like shoot up in the air? Yeah, like how to do a warning shot? I know you can just aim and shoot, but I thought there was a way to like do it. I thought your head popped, so I thought you. So I thought it happened. <laughs> hey, 
It really is. What's up, A? Oh, I saw people liked it earlier, and I didn't even talk to anybody. I've been just fucking RPing. I can't believe we still have a voice. I think it's just how I talk, because I'm fully grown. Most of the time, I have this fun, enjoyable voice. Sometimes, you really just gotta lower it down a little bit. Oh, uh -huh. that's right, guys. Rice Raggy. <laughs> I'm even trying to end up my sentence like I heard the fellas did on the, on that video game. Did you seriously just, but they're right here. You know what I reckon you gotta do? If you ain't done it in a minute, just clear your 5 M cash. Or not, no, I'm sorry. You're ready M cash. I'm gonna probably bid farewell to her then. Hey, out of miss. Are they ready to be sold? I don't know. I think Jake just had another head pop just as they were coming in. So I think he might be uh, heading out I for the night. I someone. Who are, they, who are they following you? Oh, maybe they're following me. They were. I didn't, I didn't talk to them. Jacob was with them. I was just helping them out. Are you girls with me now? Oh, God. No, no, Jesus. You're me, no girl. That's weird. They're following someone. Yeah, no, I just had a head pop right over yonder. I'll, uh, I don't think, are you girls following me? I think they're following me. All right, girls. When you started coming out here, they started, like, coming towards here. Yeah, they were on their way right in. They were on their way in, and when this head popped, they were, they saw home. They were coming back. Yeah. Mm. He has, you know. Let me see. You coming back in, Big Cat, or are you leaving? Right. Yep, these girls are lost. Let me go take care of them. Alright. I'm sorry, girls. I'm sorry. Yep. There we go. Yep. Down you go. Oh shit, we gonna do that to all of them? Yeah. These ones don't belong to anybody yet, so. Whoop, oh, man, that's blood slippery. Okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Can you hear me? Yeah, what? You said that these hey. people can hurt them? Anyone else want to die? Yeah, I heard that you have to leave. It's fine. I'll finish it for you, and I'll pay you right now. Uh, I'll finish it for you. Yeah, you're fine. You did most of the work. It's fine. Give me one second while I do paperwork, and then I'll drag these girls away to a far-off place. All right, thank you. You guys just, like, destroyed these guys. Well, she said it would have to be done. I ain't gonna question the lady. Her cows, her ranch. <laughs> Pays the bills. She said jump. I'm gonna just say how I. Yeah, I reckon we head out to St. Denis. Hopefully have a nice safe there. travel. Yeah, I threw on my collar too. I gotta have to set my head down. Been a long day. There. That coffee in the can. Man, I, I uh, I got forty-four eggs and fifty milk today. Like that's that's a busy day right there. Good alone. for you working, man. I'm proud of you. I'm hoping Buck works out too. It's a good little side job, you know. At least here we got steady work needs to get done. We know we come here and living, pay for. It's gonna be a nice suit I can wear on Sundays, you know. Well, that's it, man. That's it. But I'm hoping Buck. I mean, I don't know what he's gonna pay out at, but I mean, if he's. All right, Jacob. What's your uh? Number uh, eight seven zero. There you go. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, because these are still, according to the, what I'm reading, is they're, they're still in the barn, so I'm just gonna drag these ones off. So, 
the cows usually have popped too. I might have to pop, um, kill all these ones too. And drag them yeah. off, so. Yeah, well, Elizabeth, where are you? Easier here. Yeah, hopefully. Because sometimes that, that happens too, so it's fine. Let me drag these off. I appreciate on, it. Elizabeth. Thank you very much. We got work to do. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Pleasure yeah. meeting you. Yeah. Alright, see you guys tomorrow if you guys come around. Alright, All see you around. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, you got me bully. Yeah, if you guys want to drag him to the, like, close to the ridge over there for, with me. I'll have nice. to walk him over there. I, I ain't got a lasso. Oh, gotcha. I am. Wow, yeah, you want to book down there? And we'll just stay down there. Is that where we're there? A good little trip for us. So I say we head down, and we could even if you wished, we don't have to go all the way down. We could stop in like roads if you didn't want to go. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know if you were scared or not. You, know, you hear it in your voice. Where you at? You at the front? You waiting for me? Good man, that's good. That's good. It's very, uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's very, like, I don't know. I, what I like about it is the way, like the way, especially the economy is set up on this, like you have to have it. So that's what I'm kind of catching from, I was reading to the Discord a little bit. Like the stores that aren't open, they have to be there. If they're not there, you can't, you, know, you can't use any of them. So like the economy, like in order to get shit, you really got to be somewhere that's, and you got to be in a main town or something, unless you get lucky and find one of these offshoots that are actually stocking their shit. Yeah. Yeah, I picked that axe up at when we were at the mining camp up in Austin. I'm gonna have to get a Saint, uh, uh, I'll get a hotel room in St. Denis. That way I can change my outfit and then I'll have one there. So I'll have one out here and one out there and I'll be pretty happy with that. That way I can, 20 bucks and you get it for, yeah, it's yours. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Yeah, it was. Especially with the crafting, that's helpful. But I got a little fire pit, so if we get out and about, and then we get in a spot, like she said, the only thing that sucks is if you head pop, you're fucked. I gotta make sure I delete camp, delete fire, but um, at least if we get out and about and we get hungry, we need some stuff, we don't have anything, we can pull over and stockpile some shit. I don't know, I didn't get an exact time, I had to get a hold of them. Okay. What's that? What did you say? Oh. Alright, yeah. I'll reach out to any touch base and see what time, because I think that'll be kind of a cool little RP too, because... I mean, fuck, what's gonna happen? Who knows, I mean, I don't know what he's paying. Yeah, if you want to give it 200 bucks, I think that's fucking worthwhile. That'd be big. Then you get a nice carriage. You only, you know, you work there for a while, and then once you get set, you kind of get on your own and buy yourself a business. Or buy yourself a ranch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm lucky we haven't ran into anybody. Yeah, I know we're gonna, but I just don't know when. 
Now, did you read through the rules on that? How's that work with them? If they, it's supposed to be, if they hold you up and give you an opportunity, either fight for your life or you give up what you fuck, what they want. What are they allowed to take from you? Everything or no? Yeah, it's supposed to be kill or take unless you fight back. Yeah. Which my first instinct will probably be to fight back. I'll immediately hit the left trigger and I'll fucking ragdoll. That's exactly how that's going to be. Yeah. I'm down to I'm down to get into that. However, it does call the authorities. Hmm. Do they know? I wouldn't be down to play poker either. I like poker. Right behind you, bud. I'm gonna feed my horse real quick, though. I think I bought her some hay or something. You can, yeah. I think all the everything's available in here that's in like base game for hunting, even the legendaries. You can pay for the map for legendaries, and I'm pretty sure I read once you once you have it, you have it. I think they have a two hour timer for the legendary animals. Are we? Hang on, I gotta try to feed this fucking horse. Bird meat, chicken feather, chicken heart. No, I bought you something. Uh, so, corn bait, pea. I guess I didn't. I guess I lied. I bet they are. Alright, I'm looking by myself because I'm way behind you. I see ya. Alright guys, we are in St. Denny. It is. It's got me cutting over right here, bud. It does. Oh shit, there's a train. Right in the St. Denny. What's up, bud? I, I clipped all your noises you were making. <laughs> watch the video. <laughs> I'm heading to St. Denis. I will meet you. Whereabouts are you in St. Denis? Right in St. Denis? Meet me at Lone, Lone Star Stables, that first stable right there. First pull, and we'll pull right there. We'll, 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 we'll hitch our horses. I'll call it a night chat because three and a half hours, three hours and 40 minutes is plenty long enough for a Wednesday night. 
that I wasn't supposed to stream. Oh, she don't give a fuck about she was tired. I just thought she was getting home later. Go home at like 7 30, 20 of 8. Hey, Travis, how are you doing, bro? How you doing, bro? And let me know in the chat, guys, if you like the contact. Because if not, I'll just play the game and not stream it. It's not a big deal. It's much more story driven, guys. It's very story driven, so it's something I like. Pulling up stables now. All right, let's check the map out and see what there is in here. These are houses for sale. That's a blacksmith, police, bolt and board, theater. Newsstand, that's the bank, weapon shop, bad manners, gun co. Oh, I'm just looking for a fucking blind moose, trapper shop, bait shop, house for sale, house for sale. We could stay, I think, wherever. Just, I mean. I'm gonna have to get one anyways. I know there's one in here somewhere. Black Lotus. There's St. Denise Undertaker. Devil's Lectures. Probably here at the wardrobe place. I bet you it's right up here. I'm gonna grab my horse, bud. Because it's a little ways up the up the thing here. This is I do too. I got mine this way. Where are you heading to? Oh, the same spot, the one on the north of the map. Is this your eye, fella? Yeah, I think so. Oh, are you okay? I'm alright, you alright? Oh, yes, yes. You stay safe. Uh, yeah, you too, brother, I'm sorry. We avoid the next... Oh, no, no, no. You took good attention. No problem. Yes. You have a good night, my friend. You too, brother. I just fucking absolutely took somebody right off their horse. We just collided. Fucking. He was very cordial. He was nice. <laughs> the other thing you gotta watch out for, chat, is like you can get robbed easily. I'm on my way up right now. I deal with that fella. I exchange insurance information. Something mind your piece. All right, let's go. What the fuck's going on in this city, man? That's why I say as a city's guys, bunch of freaks out there. Think about the closest door. Are you at the back? Where are you at? Did you go in the front door or to the back? Hey guys, we gotta figure out how to get in here. I don't know where where a buddy went. I think he left us. Remember, you had to go to the front here, I think. Alright, 
this here is makeup. I thought I had a wardrobe spot back here where you could change your wardrobe. So, like, you need full suit? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I went pretty full. Makeup, wardrobe's this way, right through this door, guys. I did that right. It should be right through this door. About to go right here, guys. Grab train security. I'm filthy. Yeah, I'm I'm real dirty. Max holy dripper. Okay. Train churro. Scowl. Human. Blood vial. What the fuck am I gonna do with that, bud? Uh, golden crystal meth. Oh. I'm going to step outside. I'm going to end my stream out. Chat. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good night. Thanks for hanging. You guys be good. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow night. We try to do a little bit of uh, rain stuff. I'll we'll see you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging. See you guys. Bye. Good night, Bye, everybody.